it's a little dead meme. Crush, crush, crush. Man, you think you think Paramore's ever gonna make like a a um um a pop punk record again? Probably. No. No. Probably. Uh, no, I don't think so. See, you I'm made my dick twitch a little bit, Sweeney, and then Chris, you shattered my dreams. Sorry. Sorry <laughs> I, I shattered your dick. I guess see them doing it because of the fact that um <laughs> pop punk is coming back. And I hate it. I hate that it's coming back. I there's only been one group back. I think that does it well, but it's it's on a rise again. It's like very popular what, what, again. What's the one group that you feel like does it well? Them. Oh. I think it's Paramore yeah. than like so, Green Day. Like Green Day when they were going from nah. more punk to pop punk. There's a lot. When of, we I, found I, out I, about them. Because by the time we found out about them, they were already out of their like real punk shit. And they were into like their more pop punk era. Yeah, I, 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 I've been listening to, uh, well, not by... Well, the radio stations that I've been listening to when I drop off JoJo's been playing a lot of American Idiot, and I forgot how much I really like that record. Actually, yeah. that album's actually pretty fucking good. It's a good album, man. Um, where it even like some of the songs on there, I'm like, yeah, because because I was always a Dookie guy. I just that was just the my neighbor skateboarding dickhead was like obsessed with that shit. So then of course I did. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's some song like like Holiday is is probably one of my I really like that fucking song, man. And I want to hear I just want more of that shit from that era of where it's like a good balance. I don't know. I don't know how you feel, uh, Chris, because I know that's one of your top bands. I don't know what's I mean, your favorite era of Green Day. I, I was in I, I I mean I'm Dookie for sure like Insomniac was mine okay like which was I which I think I it was either the one before or the one after I can't remember exactly I, I think was, it might have been before I but. was definitely American Idiot that's why mm. when I found out about them that's when like we were like finally able to like really recognize music so we were very small when that came yeah. out so uh, that's when I was able to like really understand music I Dookie Dookie has their best songs I would say maybe. But American Idiot is my personal, like, oh, I love this era. That's what made me enjoy rock music. Like, that's the kind of shit I would like. It reminds me of, like, Tony Hawk Pro Skater shit, you know? Like, that's, like, okay. what, like, punk is. It was, like, that and then, like, old, I don't old, know. T- like, Tony Rise Hawk's, Against, to- well, <laughs> like, Tony Rage Hawk Against Pro the Skater, Machine. Tony Hawk Pro Skater was, was more... More punk, punk, punk. a lot of traditional. It was, it was not. Was. It, there was a lot of traditional no, it, punk on there. It, it would you were not, you would not find American Idiot on on. Oh no, it, was, it wasn't on there. But that was the kind of that was that generation of music. Mm. That was like early two thousands. Like shit, this man. Is if like it wasn't for music is. if it wasn't for uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, like uh, one of my favorite bands is Dead Kennedys, <clears throat> and uh, that oh, yeah. like th- th- it's just that uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. What a fucking. Uh, wh- Goldfinger, uh, that song Superman, that's probably yeah, yeah, yeah. the most iconic. That's if you hear that song, you can't think of anything but Tony. Hawk it's Pro just Skater. Pro Skater. Yeah, yeah. it's like, it's it's <laughs> it's. I have ne- I have never heard that song outside of Tony. Which song is it again? <laughs> so here I am doing everything I can. Oh, you wouldn't know it if you heard it. To what I am. You know, I'm, I'm a Superman, Superman or whatever. Do you know yeah. what's crazy? I think that's where the nostalgia. Because I don't remember Tony. Like, because I remember Tony Hawk being like a fine game. You know, like it wasn't like unbelievable, but it was fine. But the amount of people that got introduced to rock music that wouldn't like every black person I know that really fell in love with rock music is because of that game. It's because of two thousand. Yeah, e- easily. Everybody was like skating. Like, dude, even I lived in the Bronx, bro. Yeah. There were a bunch of like Hispanic and black and Italian kids like skateboarding, listening to Tony Hawk music and then listening to Wu Tang. That was like the kind of yeah. music everybody was. It's like Fifty Cent. You know what it? And you, Tony you know Hawk was, music, dude. You know what it was? It was like it was in that era. It was in that weird time when like people were weirdly. There was a lot of hysteria going on in 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 the media about media like specifically i remember like uh, it was like mortal Kombat was like in the fucking like hillary was, that our age? was, was fucking that a, talking was about was mortal Kombat. Was it, before it, was, us? it was it was when we were really little mid 2000s was, we really was when it was the absolute heat but it started before then yeah okay. it was like the mid to late 90s where like like 96 or something we okay. were very very young but i remember specifically like that was around the time that people were like you can't listen to that or you can't fucking you can't play that. That's that the, games didn't have ratings before that. Isn't that crazy? Like That's games not, just wasn't didn't Mortal have. Was the Mortal Kombat the reason why I got ratings? 
Yeah, Mortal Kombat yeah. and Doom, I think, simultaneously were, were like, okay, we got to start putting ratings on these. And that's the, where the ESRB comes from and all that shit. So it's like, that was around the time where I remember, I remember my parents being very, they weren't strict necessarily, but they would, they would monitor, like they wouldn't want me watching like South Park or like Celebrity Deathmatch. And, Same, you and I love those like, shows. <laughs> you but I, shows I found, my eyes light up when I was little. Dude, I, fa- I found my way around it and I, and I did it and I, and I feel like growing up, I literally just had like, my mom would drive me to school. And she would just play, like, either Spanish music or fucking Radio Disney because that's what she thought was fucking appropriate. And for a long time, I just thought I hated music because of that. Because I didn't (laughs) understand what they were saying in the Spanish songs. And what I did understand from the English songs were fucking horrible. Yeah. And so, like, I was just like, man, I just – I think this entire facet of entertainment is just not for me, man. This is not (laughs) – working it's insane hearing you uh, say that because like for me like music has always been like such a core part of like i would like my grandma would turn on like bachata music on like sunday mornings and she would cook like food and we would dance in a living in like the, like, the kitchen like the most typical yeah. hispanic kid ever like I, music was such a like etta james fred astaire um uh freaking marvin gay uh, Rita, uh, Rita, Luther Vandross, like there was this. Those musics were so prominent in my head that, like, that's yeah. why soul music is my favorite because I heard that shit I every waking I, hour of I, my life. I didn't glom onto it until way later because yeah. I just didn't. Because a lot of a lot of my assumptions about it too were just like I don't know what this is for necessarily. I couldn't necessarily. Mm. I was a really distractible person, so I couldn't sit and listen to something. I had to like watch something or play something or do something like I couldn't sit there and like listen so like I didn't really understand the concept of lyrics really to me it was just like people just saying stuff to fill the melody of the song which wasn't enough for me you, you until I was like you older tie, you couldn't tie it to emotion yet which I couldn't tie sense. to emotion yet until until Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and uh it was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and Crazy Taxi I remember where the were the Crazy two games Taxi, that I played where I was like right. where I was like Fucking offspring was like, this is, and shit. Yeah, offspring and stuff. And I was like, this is not Radio Disney. <laughs> what is this? What is Rage Against the Machine? What is this? <laughs> and I remember being just like taken by it. In in it didn't get me all the way. It, like it got me. I was like, I, I would play the game just to listen to the music, you know, because I didn't understand that there was any other way to engage with it. <laughs> Like the the prospect of like oh people buy music by itself and just sit there and listen to it that's crazy I need to be I why would you do that when you can skate <laughs> when you can drive a taxi th- through the sidewalk and and crash into a Pizza Hut to Dude. Bad Religion blaring in the background oh my god <laughs> so, or going up a fucking or going up a fucking Empire State Building and hitting fucking King Kong in his ass and he throws away yeah, yeah. the air and then she lands on the car as he go back down the street. Dude, that shit is so fucking... This, those moments where... We don't have moments like that anymore, which is crazy yeah. everything's licensed now to shit. Yeah. But, like, but, we just don't have moments know, but, like that. But, but I do want to shout out Guitar Hero, too, because I think Guitar Hero was the first time that you actually had to sit there and engage... Like, it was the first time I, that, that I actually had to sit there and engage with music, actually. Because mm, it, was, right. it, was in, it, was, it was still in a game... But in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, it was like, and Crazy Taxi, it was just sort of setting the stage. It was just sort of like background. It just sort of got, it sort of gave you a vibe. Mm-hmm. But then like with Guitar Hero, it's like, okay, you've got to learn this. And you've got to like pay attention to it. And you've got to go with it. And the song is the game. And because the song is the game, it got me to be like, oh, I, w- I want to get really good at this. I want to like listen to the songs. And then the more I listened to the songs, the more I picked up on like what was interesting about it. And I was like, oh, okay. And that's really what kind of like set me off, and that's how I found everything that I like now. It propels but, me, yeah, because Guitar Hero was a masterpiece, yeah. dude. Absolutely, Guitar man. Guitar Hero three, bro, three with all the DLC, dude, people hacking no the it, they download some extra songs. Oh god, there's dude, there's no fucking reason why anybody our age should know any of those songs, <laughs> were it not for that that game, man. Guitar Hero single handedly like propelled like rock into. It, ga- it, ga- it gave rock. It gave right. rock a little bit more time than it had. 
Because Rock was, yeah. everybody said Rock was dying after grunge. I don't really understand that exactly. People said it was dying after grunge. But it gave it a few more years. It gave it, like, a few more years to really, like, be present. And then it around 2010, it died. Everyone was just like, this is just not the main music anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it introduced a lot of people to uh, uh, metal as well. Like, like, I was, even though there were some unlicensed things where there were, like, covers, where uh, yeah, <laughs> some yeah. of them were terrible, but still, it was still kind of cool that some of the songs were in the game, nonetheless... Uh, uh, people that I know personally that were like, "Oh, I, all that remains is now one of my favorite bands because they, they, they never, never, never would have heard this shit before." Like fucking the Beast and the Harlot, Harlot um, from uh, Vince Sevenfold, like yeah. shit that they never would have listened to before. And I'm like, "This is never." Insane I, I can that tell people you, people are hearing this. Shit. I would have never turned on Vince Sevenfold in my life, but Beast and the Harlot <laughs> was a good fucking song. I was like, "Oh, I like this song." Yeah, yeah, that's man. Fucking, that's it so was, dope, dude. Yeah, major it, fucking it was, shout out, dude. Yeah, dude. That that shit introduced me to like Heart and and. And stuff. Oh, and, fucking and, love and Heart. I saw stuff. Heart with the uh, Lacuna Coil. So good. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah. No, it's nuts. What, what is that my, game is so is that game is so song from Guitar Hero. I'll see if I can find it. I really liked Soy Bomb. But that was Soy really Bomb? just because it was like fun to play. Like it, there was really nothing to it. It was <laughs> There was, was like, a, some an obscure band called um Fuck, actually I forgot what their names. The The Damned? I forgot what they're called. Oh, there maybe, was a song called know. Carry Me Home. There's a song called Carry Me Home that was very like rockabilly. And I know th- that this song. band is so obscure that I was like, "Oh yeah, I remember Rockabilly." What? <laughs> oh. I remember. I remember Rockabilly <laughs> specifically because that was that was like a really hard song to play. Or at least for me, I remember having like a really tough time. So with it. for me, it put me onto the Fall of Troy. I would have never seen the Fall of Troy ever, ever. What? But it put me on the Fall of Troy, and I was a huge fan. Like Doppelganger, I love that album so much. What? Yeah. I don't even know what that is. You know, it was the Fall of Troy. I know a song called The Fall of Troy by a band called uh, Winter Solstice. No. <laughs> I've never actually listened. That's so funny. Wait, I probably They're, recognize it. What's the song called? Double Ganger? Um, for me, it, it's a, so it's F, C, P. Oh, something remix or something? Yeah. Okay. The fuck is this That's bullshit? weird. That song put me fucking on. I was, I lo- it, it's not, so that song is not actually on it, but my friends put it on there somehow. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, they mo- Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I it remember was the audio got something. crazy. Dude, it got dude. It got crazy so early. It was like 2010, not even 10. 2000, like seven, eight. People were like, "Yo, I got all these yeah, crazy songs on there." And I'm just like, "What? This is this? It'd be a song where it's like untitled or some shit like that." But like, this song's too dumb to go mod crazy. Back then. I was You're too like, dumb people, to mod back then. I, I, I tried. Dude, People work. were playing fucking. They, they were playing the sound files to entire episodes of The Nanny on Guitar Hero in 2009. I remember. <laughs> I remember being like, "What the fuck is going on?" I tried, man. I looked it they up how to mod it on that PS2. Came out last Couldn't week do it. in 2009, bro. Last yeah. week songs, bro. He was like, "How they? How they find this song?" You know what I've been meaning to get is Billie that Jean. Guitar Hero clone, the Clone <laughs> Hero. I've been meaning to fuck with that oh, yeah. for a while. You mean clone uh, because hero? I'm always seeing people. They play it like there's that one Asian dude that's like he's the guy, like oh Dicko mode has yeah, tens of millions. Mode, yeah, uh, he did the <laughs> what was that chick uh, that that did that high video? The what was the apology? Toxic oh, troll uh, culture uh, was it? Toxic, toxic gossip. Toxic gossip, gossip train. To- yeah, that he he did that song. <laughs> Like he's he's on top of it, man. He's on I love the top of it. I love the idea of putting Toxic Gossip Train on Guitar Hero. That's so fucking cool. <laughs> it's so funny. I I, I love. I mean, I mean, I completely so forgot about that. I might actually look man. into that. That's every day I wake shit. up and I get it gets every day I get out of bed it gets a little harder. <laughs> yeah. Every day I sit up and I'm just like, should I get up or should I just go back to sleep? You ever spent and a I whole make sure day? I don't look at Twitter, right? Like, because Twitter will make me go back to sleep. I mean, I just wake <laughs> yeah, up yeah, yeah, yeah. and I just absorb actually, the ambient energy. Dude, I've actually just not like I've kind of stopped using Twitter like like almost entirely. It's like I, I, I like I, I went off it because I was like, I don't really I, I'm spending too much time on this and it's a fucking waste of time. And it's I, I, I noticed that it was just making me angry. Like everything that I would see <laughs> that would catch my eye would be just the dumbest yeah. shit. Like I saw um and we were just talking about it before the show. We were talking about the Tom Holland interview where he talks about uh, right. where he, he gets like really serious about like, you know, not liking Hollywood. Himself, and like... and he talks about like struggling with like addiction and alcohol. That dude seems really chill, by the way. 
<laughs> he seems like a really genuinely good dude. Like I, I'm actually like ge- yeah, a good he's one of the being. few people. He, like, he's one of the few people in Hollywood where I'm like I genuinely am rooting for you in some way. Maybe not actively because that's insane, but like I, I genuinely mm. hope things go well for this guy. But. He was talking about it, and he was talking about how, like, yeah, I don't like Hollywood. I don't like the business. I've seen people lose themselves to it, and and uh, I just try to stay away as possible. You, you'll never see me at an award show that I'm not supposed to be at, or or that I, you know, like basic stuff. And how like he just wants to have like a, a normal life after all this is said and done. And um, and there are, <laughs> dude, I saw some people being like, he's talking about how people lo- sell their souls to demons. And how there are, like, uh, <laughs> sacrifices. And it's, like... Like, th- th- there are people who really fucking believe... That. You see, I've seen this clip of, like, Mel Gibson going around talking about how, like, he like he, he was he met Christopher Walken on a roof and Christopher Walken, like, glided in like a demon and, like... <laughs> just the fucking... Ins- just these, ra- these lunatic fucking madman ravens. Watched- and I'm like... He probably watched Sweep, a Sleepy Hollow with Christopher Walken. Yeah, yeah. He's like that's that's the that's the guy. He's the he's the headless horseman. He's well, he's can I, yeah. Can I, and, can, and I be, he, can I be real? Can I be real? Right? I'm being very well, honest. Right? If 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 there was, <laughs> this is gonna, I'm gonna sound like a fucking idiot, but like if it's true that they did that in Hollywood, I would not be surprised at all. I would, well, not I would be surprised. Be surprised. On a, on a, I would be surprised. I would not, I'd be like, I could. I would. No, I would be surprised that it's surprised. real, but I wouldn't be like, oh my god, I can't. Be. I would be like, oh okay. I would be surprised if it's real like, <laughs> because because that would mean that basically, oh, there's like Pokemon exist then. Yeah, you, might, you, you know, like well. this is this is like, full of shit I don't point, understand. At, you know, let's go. <laughs> like let's I go. just, dude, there are so many people who genuinely believe that people sell their souls to the devil, and and that's what he's talking about when he talks about people losing themselves. That's what it's like. No, dude, it's the the human brain isn't built for fame. It just isn't. Like you're not meant to be loved and hated by that many fucking people who don't know you. It's it's a weird transformative experience, and I know that because I experience it on on a way 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 lesser level than any of these people do and even i feel it you know even i yeah. felt it like oh man i gotta fucking re- retreat a little bit it's not about Dang, people I selling their souls I love it's it. not I about people, people selling I mean. their souls to fucking demons that's ins- it's so fucking cra- and there are people who believe it like it's yeah. genuine like I don't know, man. And I saw I mean, like so many of those. I saw so many of those takes on Twitter, and I was like, I I want so desperately to just tell these people to to drink batteries and to nah. to, to wipe themselves out. But I I can't. Not just because I would get banned from Twitter. I actually kind of don't mind that at all. But I just <laughs> to engage with it at all yeah, is it gives to them lose. Power. It gives them yeah. Power. Well, it's not even that it gives it power. It's just like it it it's wasting my fucking time. It's yeah, just, I, it just I've makes it, it just makes me angry at how stupid people are, and I, I can't fucking do it anymore. I stopped checking it. I'll if I'm tagged in something, maybe I'll like it. I think I might post whenever I have a a YouTube video out or something. But I, I think I'm actually just like done. Like it just does not do anything good. I for understand, me. man. It's like yeah. I like I I've definitely started posting less significantly less. Um, because it's just like it's like you just post. You're like, oh, funny thing, gets reception. Then that's it's like it's like a quick dopamine hit, which I've realized I don't really need from Twitter anymore. Yeah. Um, and it's just it's it's not as funny as it used to be. And and I've realized that like all I do on here is to go on here just to get outraged, you know? Yeah, and that's literally like what's it's, like it's a built in the system, and I'm just like I don't really like it. I still post. Like I'm not gonna act like I don't post that on Twitter, but I don't post anywhere as much as I used to. And even when I do post, I'm just like Whatever. Like, I don't really comment thing, on things in a post anymore. The the thing for me is that it's just like there's not enough space to really flesh out an opinion, and also like you're 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 also doling out your opinion to a bunch of strangers who like won't really get any value from it unless you're speaking to them direct. Like I I, I realize that I ha- I see no value in engaging with people on a personal level, be it like in a phys- in in a real like political context or a philosophical context. If I can't be in the same room with them and speak to them like a person, and so yeah. I kind of I, yeah, I, I remember I was true. writing I was I was writing an opinion out I even posted like uh, yesterday because I was like do I uh, maybe I, I don't know I I want to say something I guess and then I did it and I realized like I don't care that I just said this <laughs> so why should so why should anybody care and if nobody should care then why even post it in the first place and I just kind of had this like epiphany where I'm like I, I 
I don't need this at all. In fact, this sucks and is lame. Because it's just what's yeah, like. What's felt, the point of even conversing in such ago. an impersonal way? It's so lame. I don't know. To me, it's just for like the spurts of I, I've for for a long time now. I've used it for like just spurts of just having a little bit of fun, and that's that's it. Yeah. There's moments of weakness when I see something a little bit too stupid that I feel like, and then I know I know it's gonna happen. I have to eventually. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute the conversation because. It becomes a. It's usually when it happens to. I feel so compelled to like this whole groomer thing that's going on. Whenever something stupid comes across my path, I almost feel so compelled that I have to, like, I have to take jabs at like the, the religious flame. institutions or something. Whenever yeah. I have, to, I have to make fun of these people for being. And then people always get so fucking defensive about it, and I'm like, why are you defending these people? Why it is objectively a thing that's happening? You know it's happening. Why are you deflecting? I can't you help see that? myself. You see that clip one of, thing. That's the thing. It's like it? I, it's it's discipline, right? Where it's like, right? It's so it's so hard because it's just so stupid. It's so uniquely stupid in a way that is. It's so I think what it is, it's like it makes me people, bro. It, it's well, so easy. it just it just makes me angry that those people are real. Yeah. And then it leads me to these like dark thoughts where I'm like, I man, it'd be so much better if all of you died right the died. fuck now. They were like dead I just and shit. I I and I hate that. Like I don't like feeling it. So I'm just like, uh, I don't know. I'm so I think, fucking on board I'm, with, I'm that, just, with what you're saying. I, I, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. Like, I'm not. I'm I'm not reading Twitter anymore. I don't. I don't. I don't really. <laughs> I don't do it. I'll post if I have an idea for something. Like I saw a video of a uh, like that. <laughs> you know the video of the. Tibetan fox, dude. I have you seen that? I image? wanted to tweet something about it, but I, I didn't know so. what words to say. Like I had I, so many things Derek, going through Google my head, it. and I was like, "What do I say?" Huh? It's a fucking. It's a weird. It's the one of the weirdest looking animals I've ever seen. I t I tweeted or I was I wrote down in my drafts. I don't know if I'll post it. Whatever. I, I think it's kind of funny. Where it's like uh, the Tibetan fox looks like Napoleon Dynamite drew it. Uh, and that was what I, that's all I was gonna, but like I feel like that's really all Twitter is useful for it's just like these like <laughs> right. random jokes that you couldn't tell in person because it would, it would be completely pointless you know the whole point is that it's assisted by the context <laughs> but Dude, I just looked at my drafts right now and I love that the <laughs> first fucking thing the first the top thing because I had to do with I think I'm assuming had to do with this uh, conversation that Jeff Holiday was having with this guy or they're having a back and forth because it says why do people want to protect pedos in the church so badly? Lol. And uh, I like I love that I was just mentioning this, and that's the top thing that I didn't want to post. So I had a little bit of restraint. Uh, here was another one that I didn't want to. It was uh, uh, uh oh, I think this had to do with uh, an unpopular opinion. I said Tom DeLonge's voice is annoying, and every sing uh, Blink song that Mark <laughs> doesn't sing sucks ass. And like I was just one of those. I was like, ah, I'm not gonna post this. A bunch of people are. All I'm gonna do is just upset people that like There's, Tom DeLonge. So Derek, you remember the time from the, <laughs> from um, Spirited Away when that girl was like blowing and it had that long like magical trail and it had like three words in it. <laughs> yeah, it I have one of those. It's my favorite draft. Never gonna get rid of it. It's. I'm not gonna say what's in it because it's very. It's very oh, come on, derogatory. Man. I, I need to hear this shit. Like extremely derogatory. I'll bleep it out. I. Oh no! Did I lose it? No, you already deleted Good. it. You, you soft. No, I have it. I have it. it. Oh, okay, thank goodness. But I cannot. I cannot say what it is. It's extremely derogatory. But it's such like things like that. I'm just like I don't want to. I don't want to be mean. I don't. I don't want to be as mean anymore. I don't know if that sounds like me being a pup. I'm becoming like a pussy. But like I just don't like a little bit. I just don't like engaging because like engaging with somebody in like a fruitful way on Twitter is pretty dope. But it's still, you know, I it's guess. still a very I don't know. siphoned Even... off interaction because you can't have a full conversation about it, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, like, don't I don't know. I, uh, so I've been on Instagram a lot, and uh, the one thing that I've been having a hard time not engaging in is MMA fans because they're the dumbest people on the planet. And uh, this one... Uh, it, it was. It wasn't even about MMA. There's a, a guy named um, Derek Lewis, and all he does is post horrific videos on his uh, Instagram. 
the last video, he was gone for a month, came back, and then posted a guy rolling up and running over a chick laying down just in, oh. in his car. He just that he posts he posts basically shit that uh, Sweeney would watch, well, and I mean, of course I went to the comment section. I, mean, I went okay. to the comment section, and you couldn't tell right away who the person was that got ran over. So a person said uh, used the pronoun they right because they didn't know if it was a guy or a girl, and they were like, "Damn, how did they get up so quickly?" And then this guy came and replied, "They." Well, it's clearly a she. Y'all need to stop with this wokeness. And I was like, oh, my. That's, not even, that's, that's literally just grammar. It's that's just grammar. It's literally so just a I pronoun. had to respond <laughs> that's to just him. how you use a pronoun. <laughs> I had to respond. I couldn't help myself. So, of course, yeah. I respond telling him, that is how the English language works. And I just say, say go back to first grade, you dummy. You, and then, you know, you, <laughs> hold on, I just want, real quick, then I just, I see <laughs> five minutes later, this is in the morning when um getting ready to take Jota to work. <laughs> and uh, five <laughs> minutes later, I see someone wants to send you a message, and it's that guy, and all it says is, you suck, nigga. <laughs> it, was, it was so fucking funny to me. That yeah. he, he didn't even reply to the comment. He went straight to my DMs and just, yeah, just he to wanted, tell me I He suck. wanted you to see it, bro. He needed to yeah, know that, that I suck. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's just... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Like I, I, the way I'm starting to look at it, uh, it might be somewhat of a dangerous way to look at it. Is like I can't, like I wouldn't argue with like a used cum rag. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't, like I, I wouldn't sit there and genuinely like be goaded into an angry conversation by like a fly with no wings. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah. like the best way to do it is just like I I can't these are not people because they're not really. Like when you meet them in person they're people and maybe in person yeah. they will be less annoying. But the way that I look at it is like on social media people are fucking bugs. And I I I can't fucking Damn, I can't that was heavy. That was I a heavy can't handed statement. It was. And I just people I can't entertain I can't entertain bugs anymore. I saw this I saw this thing where it was like uh, this this couple, I think they're like like this thirty year old couple, and and they're like, ah, oh, we. You, do you know uh, Dinks? What Dinks is? Double income, no kids. No. Mm, yeah, yeah. Well, it's what it is. It's 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 people who just are you know they're they're in a relationship and they don't have kids. Yeah. There's these two people. They're in a relationship. They had no kids. Some dude he had a vasectomy. Some dude wrote about it for some reason. I don't know why this is even remotely important or worthy of anybody's attention at all. I assume they wrote it because they uh, they thought it would upset a certain subsect of people, and <laughs> guess what? It did. Uh, and it's just all these people offended at the idea that a couple would be together and not have kids, almost like almost angry that they're not being forced to have kids because that's the purpose. And yeah. it's like I don't – and that's I, the I think reason I, why they wa – that's why they wrote it. And I wrote I wrote a tweet out. I wrote a tweet that said, there are people who are genuinely offended by this, and they should all be microwaved. <laughs> and then I didn't post it, because I was just uh, like, I believe it. I believe yeah. it wholeheartedly. Be microwaved. But that's the one that, I mean, I'm, I'm really running, I'm just really running out of patience. I like, I, I just, it. I don't have, like, there is a point where it reaches where, like, you, you are so stupid that you are genuinely a detriment to the species, and you should go. Like, with, an honorable person would go on their own accord they wouldn't have to they wouldn't do the cowardly wait thing where you're like waiting for something bad to happen do it get off the planet leave now yeah yo i mean it chill chill i yo, mean I was, it no, sincerely I, 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 should, I mean it <laughs> i'm just kidding i no i i i'm not kidding bro. <laughs> but <laughs> I, just, I can't man i can't it's Dude, just so, like, look. why do you care? Why do you fucking care? Why do you care if, if some random couple has a kid or not? It's I'll, fucking weird. It's because bizarre. Most of these people, because most people are just programmed to think they have to do that. And the reason why that the that person posted that is that very reason. There's a podcast I listen to called uh, Cognitive Dissonance. I've been listening since like 2012, and oh, one wow. of the guys, Cecil, is agreed to him and his uh, uh, girlfriend. Absolutely do not want kids. They, they they agreed on that a long time ago. Fucking over 10 years later, still no kids. Uh, Tom, the other guy, has multiple kids. And he's like, I love my kids, but I'm also miserable. And that's the whole thing where Cecil's like, yeah, I don't care for that feeling of, oh, this is 
uh, fulfilling, but I'm fucking miserable, and now I'm spending all this extra money that I don't care to do. I've lost a lot of my freedom. There's a lot of people that feel that way, but they also feel obligated yeah. to have offspring. And they're like, why the fuck do I have to do that? And on top of that, he also said, and this is something I agree with, just because someone is your fucking blood, you don't have to be cool with them. Like, there's the whole thing where it's like, oh, it's your family, that's your family, that's your family. And I'm like, bro, there are fucking orphans, people that don't have that they make connections with their friends, people who are not blood, and that becomes so, their family, right? I, I agree. So that's, I, that's, I, that's, I, well, I, well, the I thing am, to me, too. I'm in the, the middle of that statement, right? I'm in the middle of that statement, right? Like, for me, I understand that though my family may be checkered, they are still my blood. And to a degree, to a degree, now I mean very, very, to a degree, I will always have a love for them because they they share the same foundation as me. You know, Personally, I, 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 I just think that's... Personally, I just think that, like, say, I have like a a degenerate uncle, right? Oh no, no, no! I've, I've, my look. Also, granted, I don't speak to my father because he's a terrible <laughs> human being. All right, so I understand what you mean. All right, but like, I, do I, you? But then, but but do you have like? Do you're like, you know what? If he comes around, I'm still gonna have a fucking. We're still gonna play some Final Fantasy 16. Like, you know, we're like, gonna like, let's, like, 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 say like this, right? Like, I'm very <laughs> sure my dad is dying currently, and I still don't talk to him. Uh, I'm okay. very sure. I'm very <laughs> sure he's like he's on his way out yeah, of so the you, world. I'm like, yeah, ah, so bro, you, have fun, have fun. The next life, that's it. You know, like I'm yeah. very much so. Like, there's yeah. some people in my family I just don't mess with. That's you know? that's like, exactly the my point. It's not about like it is just because because there's some people that would tell you they would try to convince you. Oh, no, I well, he's I still your too. father. At the end of the day, too. he's still your father. And I say, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like I if, get that too. Like, if they I, didn't I understand treat that you, part of me, part of me, he. He exists within me, no matter how much I hate him or don't like him. He's still exists within me. What do you mean? You know? What do you mean? Because he's, he's he's still part of his part of him is still within me, no matter what. No like matter what, his, as long as I exist, part of him will still exist. Like as I oh, you just that. mean by just by being his like offspring? Is that what you mean? offspring? Yes, you know, like I'm, some of my traits are his. Probably some of the things about me are his. Some of the things I like about myself are, are probably given from him. Some things I dislike about myself are given from him as well. I'm very much aware of that. But I understand the kind of person he is is not the person I want to be around. You know, same thing with my grandma, right? Like my grandmother. I realized when I was like maybe 20 years old that if my grandmother wasn't my grandma, she would still probably be my friend. She would still be somebody I really enjoy. Like, oh, person, I'm like, oh, that's a cool person. Or if she was young and she was my friend, I would. You still would probably enjoy still her. consider her a grandma, even though she's not your grandma. Like, huh? there's people that do. Like, you ever you ever have like a like a god um um sibling. Like you have like a not a sibling, sorry. You have like a godparent or something like oh my that. God. Where, I'm Puerto Rican, bro. We got I have so right. many uncles that are my uncles. <laughs> so all I'm saying is that there's people that there's no blood relation, <laughs> but you always consider them a, an uncle, a this, a grandma, anything like that, just because of what they yeah. mean to you in that relationship. And all I'm saying is that is the most important thing at the end of the day because the way that people behave, where they're like, okay, you need to have kids, you need to do this. Oh, they're still your father. It also discounts like the people I like said that are orphaned people that don't know their biological that's, parents where it's like well, well that's, that's another true, thing too it where it's, but it's true, well, but well, well, well hold on Th that's another thing too where it's mm -hmm. like why do you have to have a kid why, why can't like the, the thing to me is like there's so many kids with no families right true. like to me i think i think honestly like i don't i don't know if I, I really don't know if i want kids really at all but like i feel like if i did i feel like part of me would want to adopt because that feels like the most moral way to do it. Like I, I, it I really is. don't see, I really don't see a value in like, like in like inherently in like, ooh, there needs to be another me running around. Like that, that feels kind of like narcissistic in some way. So you've bro like, like, you have broken the real? conditioning of, uh, you've broken the the animalistic fucking. Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, you know how we, we there's things that we're just programmed to do instinctual instinctual you, social, you've broken uh, yeah. that instinct like that because that is all it is all of all the instinct in us is to reproduce why everything well no I'm still survived. I'm still trying to fuck a lot I'm still trying to fuck a yeah. lot like a stupid yeah but amount. you're not trying to but... just bust in like you don't have that urge to like just bust in every woman you see to spread your seed right you just want to well, well... maybe. Not bust outside of them on their face or something. Right, yeah. Whatever. Right on their yeah, fucking yeah. cheek, a blunt one. Yeah. It bruises them. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, no, I, me, I don't know. Me, yeah. If I'm being very honest, this is going to sound fucked up. I want a child that is my child because. Because you don't feel like you would love it if it wasn't yours. 
Oh no, absolutely not. I'm I'm adopting a kid. I'm 100 percent adopting at least one of my. Are children. you actually? Ad- oh, you, yeah. yeah, really? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna have one child that's genetically mine, and then I'm gonna adopt a child. But why the why the why the first yeah, thing? Yeah, what, Cause I, why, cause why is I, that cause important? Because I, I want one child. I want I want I want the unification of me and Lillian to be more than just um like us between us. I want us to be you guys life fucking together. eating each other's asses. That's all. Yeah, That's, you, know, you just like, wanted wanna, to be more than that, huh? I want to be more than that. I want to be more than me tugging her asshole, you know. Can I ask? Can, you, can I ask? This is gonna go. This is gonna go into a weird direction, but I promise you, it's. I promise you, I. I feel like it's. It's good. Have you guys ever seen the movie Splice? Yes, I've heard of it. I don't think I saw you, it. Oh, it's, it's, oh, you've heard of it? The movie yeah. based so, on the Jersey Devil, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did Smokey tell you that? Yeah, fucking most insane shit I've ever heard in my life. I mean, I, she explained it. It's not that weird, but it's also like it's a, that's a wild extrapolation to make. Anyway, Splice is a movie about these two scientists who create basically a homunculus, this this like kind of like creature, and they do it for science, and it's growing really rapidly. I and wouldn't it becomes, say it's homunculus. It's it's part human DNA, it, part alien. It, it's part human. It's, it's part human. It's part human, part a bunch of animal DNA mixed up, and it, and it grows like really quickly into this like young woman who's like kind of like weird looking. And it's partially the mother's DNA and a bunch of animals. And so the scientist, because the, the, because the woman is his wife, it, it, he's attracted to the creature and he fucks the creature. This yeah. is like a real thing that fucking happens. It's, Let's it's, go. it's one of the, and it's Adrian Bro. It's such a weird fucking movie. It's it's the one of the weird. I for, I was watching it at Mix at Mick and Smokes the other night. Of you like, were. They were just they were just watching it, and I walked in, and I was like, oh my god, I haven't seen this in so long, and I was like, wow, this is fucking bizarre because the implication, the implication is that oh, and, and it's a huge plot point in the movie where he's like, you you don't think I know what you fucking did? You put your DNA in that kid. I know because I wanted to fuck it. I'm not kidding. That's hot. That's I know what you're weird. implying. I just that, don't, I don't, I, I'm so exhausted already. <laughs> but yeah, let's Dude, continue. Continue. But isn't that, that's isn't that such a fucking bizarre way to look at that? Like that's such a that is a weird thing to write in a script. Yeah. Because doesn't we'll, that imply we'll think, we'll that think, everybody we'll, wants to fuck their kid? That's what that no, implies. No, 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 no. It, it implies it implies that everyone wants to fuck their partner's kids more than that. Because if you would want to fuck, you wouldn't want to fuck your kid because your kid is part you and you don't want to fuck yourself. So that neutralizes it. But let's but say your par- partner- But your kid is inherently, but your kid is inherently partially the person that you fell in yeah, love with, Yeah, but since right? you're there, it nullifies it. It's like people that are allergic to peanut butter and chocolate, but together they're not allergic. They're, they're, they're like, that is I a, can't that is, I can't believe, <laughs> I can't believe you just used that analogy for That's this. It's stupid as shit, but it works for the moment. But it but does it's, work. It, uh. But then it's like, you know, like, that's so exhausting to think. But then it's like people that are attracted to their children, people's children. You know that happens for real. That's a real thing. Like people are like, oh, "Yo, I've I'm been can I say, attracted can, dude, to I, Margaret, and then she has a daughter, and I'm attracted to her daughter because what I like about Margaret isn't her daughter." I I don't know, man. That's I real. haven't had, I haven't had I, that feeling of uh, maybe it's because I'm still. Uh, we're not old enough too, yet. I think yeah, that was gonna exactly. I was like, maybe that we're just too young for that to even be a possibility. Um, I don't know. That's like maybe by the insane. time I'm fifty, and all of a sudden, like. Uh, some chick role because like okay you can't because you i because you can uh i thought this was an interesting there was um an older woman that i was hitting on at a bar back in like i don't know i was like 25 or something and she was being like i look too fucking young for 25 which was unfortunate that was the reason why i couldn't i couldn't seal the deal because she was saying like oh yeah you, you look good but or whatever i think you maybe you'd be more interested in my niece and I'm like, your fucking niece ain't here. What the fuck are you even saying? I'm trying to fuck you, not your but niece. Like, Maybe her later. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I'm sure there's like scenarios of a the a mom and a daughter being hanging out, and then some guy wants to smash both of them. Like, oh, this chick's like in her forties, and the the daughter's now like twenty something or some shit like that. And you're like, yeah. But I don't know about the the thing where it's like. Someone who's close to you? I don't know. I don't like it. it just seems it, it seems kind of weird Dude, if it's like any. I, I don't know. This is this is bringing up. So I, I've been so gross. I've been on 
I've been on a on a binge lately in the last couple of days watching stepmom porn. Watching yeah, stepmom porn. Uh, yeah. Brandy Love. No, I, I've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching specifically. Go to. A lot. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of predator hunter videos like people who like go and and they and they just like they they catch God, damn, you know Chris. you know what i thought you oh meant? like like chris hansen you know types yeah yeah you know what i thought yeah. you meant i thought you meant people trying to hunt the predator on earth and i was like that's a subgenre <laughs> yo where did That'd you pretty... can you send me that link that'd be pretty <laughs> You're cool. such a fucking that is so it's that is such an insane thing to immediately I'm assume sorry, is true dude. yeah that's okay. It's too much I sci-fi on my diet, bro. It's just too yeah. much. And I forgive all, you, but why would you even want to hunt? Okay, let's not get into it. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. But go no, ahead. Yeah, dude, ultimate like, hunter. <laughs> let's not get it's Craven. Let's exactly, not get into bro. No, fucking. Dude, no, I, I, it's so the stupidest just thing to hunt a predator. It's so stupid. Why would you do that? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been binging these videos, and dude, like I, I don't know what it says about me, right? But I love watching these videos. Like I really, really love. Watching these people break down and cry and like, who is there other like than Chris so... Hansen doing it? There, well, it's there's like a bunch of like independent stuff now. It's just like a, and and it, mm. you know some of it, uh, some of them get like actually genuinely arrested like on the spot. I, I don't know how how well it takes or like what mm. like how they manage to do that, but there's a lot of people kind of taking up that mantle. Some people are really irresponsible with it. Obviously, like we we uh, we've. There's been stories about people who are like really, really irresponsible with it. Right. But, oh, right, but right, it's right, just right, there's, right. but there's something about it that is just like I, even if it's it. not necessarily effective at like getting them in jail, just knowing that they are being put through just this really emotionally destructive gauntlet <laughs> is really satisfying to me. And I can't stop watching it. It's great. Uh, it's The Catch a Predator used to be my all-time favorite show. And Chris Hansen brought it back. It was called Hansen vs. Predator Hansen for a while. Hansen Predator, yeah. Right. And there was this it's one so good. that was so fucking excellent because Chris Hansen was pretending to not know what certain sexual acts meant. So he's like, yeah. what do you mean by uh, you want to blank her blank or whatever the fuck he was saying. And he was making this dude describe... Like the things, and I'm like, it's such a humiliating thing, and I was this just man, getting so much pleasure out of it. <laughs> this man wanted to engage in blumpkin activity with a 14 year old girl, yeah. dude. I, I love I, his. I love his intro statements. Those shit cadence, go yeah, yeah. so dude. hard, bro. But, Tough but day. But the thing, but the thing that got, but the, but the thing that got me into this rabbit hole recently was there was this, there was this thing going around of. Oh, this this unreleased Chris Hansen episode, or this like un or, or this like vaulted Chris Hansen episode, where the dude is so sad and pathetic that Chris Hansen literally is just like, this is too pathetic to air. <laughs> like this is like, which is crazy. Imagine, imagine <laughs> your job. You engage with <laughs> pedophiles on a on a consistent basis. That's you're so fucking scum. You're you're and fucking he feels trash. And, dude, and, and you know what was hilarious about it, Kingston? You know you know Ketchum, yeah. the school. No, he's from there. No, he's back from there. home. Back home, yeah. No <laughs> so there, way. Yeah, and it was it was this it was this fat kid that kind of looks like that extra that's in every single movie. Oh yeah, um, that fucking guy. You know, <laughs> yeah, he, he looked kind of like that, and he's talking about how like I'm on medication, and I'm fucking so sad, and I'm fucking I'm retarded, and I don't. I don't know what I'm <laughs> and, it, and it's it is it really it it it, it really is. <laughs> and I'm retarded, <laughs> dude. It, it really is. Unironically, it is actually like the, one of the most pathetic things I've ever seen, and I've that just got me into like this this rabbit. I can't find my far. dick. I'm so fucking sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have type two diabetes and type one somehow. I come I'm rope. Fucking... I come out and it's just fucking real rope. It's rope out my dick and burns. I gotta pull it out. I get myself rope burned in my penis. I can't fucking do it. I get beaten Dude. up by my janitor every day. It's so <laughs> damn funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> the janitor beats me up with the kids all point in the lab. <laughs> oh my uh, god, dude! It's so insane. It's just, it's such a. I have, I have, I have opinions about like, uh, people of those groups that I don't like voicing because people get very angry when I voice my opinions about them. What the fuck you saying? 
Uh, I'm not gonna voice. I'm just not gonna talk about it now. It's not the place to you, talk you about. You can't. It. Fo- you can't say that and then not say it. I think what I know. I think about? I know what the general, what, what the general vibe is, is. Is you're going for? You're going for the. Uh, oh, it's they're they're met. They're ill. They're ill. They're people. They're and they, ill. they need to be. Treat, no, 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 no. My, no, 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 no. My statement is that 100. percent If you have not acted and you seek help for those those urges that are obviously not okay to be um to be had. Um, I think they deserve help if they look, seek help. If they look, have not acted, have not harmed anybody, I think they deserve help. That's my if they opinion. Make a cure, if, look, if they make a cure for that, my, that's no, my opinion. But I'm totally on board. But that is, time, no, I understand the, that I'm not a parent. The cure for that is the most dangerous fucking thing that could be made. Because if they figure out yeah. how to do that, then immediately these freaks are going to figure out how to cure, quote unquote, cure gayness. Like they're, that's going to be the next step that's because the they, think, they think it's synonymous. The like thing. All and that's, that's the thing, and that's and that's, ter- that's extremely and horrifying. That sh- that's extremely yeah, horrifying. Like, it would but, be um, fucking creep. But look, at, here's the thing. Um, hmm. I feel like uh, those people, the ones that are seeking help and all this shit. So you don't know that they're perverts and stuff because they are keeping it to themselves and they are trying to do something about it. I feel like most people unanimously have a problem with these fucks. Why we watch this show? Uh, Chris no, no, no. I, no, I, no. I, I agree. You're right. You're 100 percent right. You know the um, the yeah. people that once you take action going out of their way and that like, is that is a problem and that is I can't defend I can't defend I that, want you know? little beep beep and then because Chris steps out and like and, and like you, for me to say this I'm just respectful pee-pee? to people that have children that have went through that stuff as well I'm I'm very I'm very understanding that I don't have children none of my family members have ever well none none that I really know about have ever gone through anything very traumatic like that and those things are very serious and I try not to be open. I try, not, I try not to open up with those kinds of statements because of the fact that I'm a peace and love kind of person. And it's it's fucking lame and stupid. And if you've been hurt, someone that has a point, like, well, they are people. That sounds like fucking the most disrespectful shit ever. You know, yeah. they are people still. And I'm just it's like, nigga, my dog got shot. I don't care if he's a person. I want him dead. You know, like it's not you shouldn't say shit like that at moments. Like it's, that, it's, so. it's 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 how I feel about cops who shoot dogs. Where it's yeah. just like, I, I really do not care what happens to you at all. <laughs> like, just straight up. You must hate especially the SWAT, if it's like, period. Especially if... You must hate oh, the yeah. SWAT, period. That's what dude, they do, it's always, They kill dogs. They're like, the kings Because, of dude, because, bro, it's like, it's always a dog that I could handle by myself. It's never like fucking Cerberus. <laughs> bursting out from the fucking, from fucking what you call it from Hades yeah, just dude, bugging fuck, man. <laughs> dude so if a three headed dog the size of eight lions is barreling at you you have my fucking full permission to shoot that thing like yeah. I get it right like I would I fucking get it but it's always like like a fucking shih tzu or like yeah. some, some fucking it's like we'll make, we'll oh, make, sorry we'll sorry, like sorry I had fucking... to unload eight shotgun shots into your fucking <laughs> yeah, chihuahua yeah. and now he's paced <laughs> What makes me <laughs> yeah. so mad is that these are fucking supposed to be the most tactically aware people, right? They're they're SWAT. I know, yeah, yeah. You drop them in to take care of problems. Have someone in the deep with a tranquilizer. Dog moves, boop, sleep. Don't the bar murder it. It's too low. You know, to be in law enforcement. Let, let's, oh, let's, yeah. let's, let's let's put it this way. Let's put yeah, it this it's... way. Let's put it this way. To cut some motherfucker's hair. To cut my bitch ass hair, you got to get a license, and you do not need to have a license to be in law enforcement. Let let that, that real? sink in. That is one thousand percent real. You go through, training, you go through really the academy, you pass yeah. it. Now you are not a license. So here's the thing: if you do some horrific shit, there's no license to revoke. So usually what they do is they just fire you from that precinct, and then the you go gross. you go and apply to another one. That's fucking nuts. But if you cut someone's fucking scalp off as a barber <laughs> your license is gone <laughs> like, yeah bro the the the, 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 the dumb off. shit that the rules that we have and and i always say that i always say that it is our our fault to let these things slide like when we have problems with the supreme court or fucking anything or it's like these people can be fossils or anything i'm like the fact that we just sit back and let it happen i'm like well i can't be too angry I can't be because look at the end of the day. Am I going to the city council meetings? Am I yes, petitioning? Sure, yeah. Am I doing anything? So it's like at the self, end of the day, it's like self directed <laughs> anger in some in some way. But, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. But I ain't the world doing shit, fucked. bro. The world, I'm just the world mad. is fucked. Um, did you guys I'm see at, this? I'm uh, a beard and beat off. <laughs> what? what, what <laughs> 
What do you guys feel about the? Uh, we're gonna get into questions. <laughs> we're gonna get into questions after this. But I want to get your Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a good time though, isn't it? You just fucking pound a beer and then bust. That's got to be fucking you amazing. Bur- you burp and bust at the same time. <laughs> that is that is something I've never even thought of trying. Burp and bust. You just <laughs> so like that. Fucking get it ready. Get it ready. Get it ready. You just, you're just feeding it. And then you're just, you're just you just time it, bro. You're you feeding it. it. Welcome. You can- welcome, to, uh, welcome to Burp and Busters. <laughs> you can get a beer Dude, and jack there's off. A, there's a fucking arcade where you just you get <laughs> drink a, you put your beers, dick in it. You get a beer off. and that as you drink like the fucking, beer, it jerks you off. That sounds like a, a fucking like a human sentai pad level, like like South Park. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Sounds like a <laughs> trip. It's like <laughs> come to Burp and Busters, where you can burp and bust all over your friends, <laughs> all, over, all over your friends, and they won't arrest you. You won't get arrested. <laughs> It's Are totally you tired fine. of drinking your beer and coming on your friends and they call the cops? <laughs> that is so vile. Come to Burp and Busters. Fuck you're hanging you. out with somebody and he's like drinking a beer. He walks in. He's walks in. He's drinking a beer. His gen- he's like kind of his his lower body is kind of obscured by whatever it is. And he turns the corner, finishes the beer, burps and fucking hits you with like a fucking gooey one. And you're just like, yo, what right, did you do to me, dude? Look, I. <laughs> I- <laughs> Because I brought up South Park because it was in my head, but I, I have to bring up I, I was I was watching South Park the other day, right? And I was watching uh, the episode where Ike goes to save the Princess of Canada yeah. from Tooth Decay. Oh, and right, right. I I heard a slur in that in that episode that I could not believe was as funny, or that I, I I'm gonna say it now. But I I need the context to be fully understood that I'm simply quoting South Park. And they're they're in Canada and they're with Eskimos and this Canadian fellow says to the Eskimos these goddamn polar gooks and I couldn't <laughs> fucking believe my I couldn't believe my ears. That is some that was, genuine that is Canadian so racism right there. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> you know? Isn't that insane? That is such that a is, like that, That's top that tier. Is so that is a top tier. I I barreled I I fell off my couch laughing. Because it's the delivery of it too. Obviously, it's Trey Stone and Matt Parker. They do like a really like the, that that Team America delivery. Right. By the way, Team America really holds up as well. I saw that the other day again too. Right. But what what makes that what makes it? I feel like I was given a new <laughs> sword. You know, like you're playing no, an adventure I, game. You know, I just, weapon. Like, I, look, I, I really, I really need. I this needs to, this the context of this up, is very important. I gotta look that right. up. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. Let's see. Gotta, How do you guys feel about this fucking Wonka thing? I, I, well, I mean. <sighs> I don't know he's a good about. actor, so it'll probably be like a good movie. I haven't seen like, it. What are you talking about? There's a Timothy Chalamet uh, Wonka movie out, or not out, but like there's a trailer for it, and it, it's it's not great, you know. Oh, really? I mean, he it seems looks really good. off. Why uh, the do movie they keep looks doing fine. Chocolate shit. What is that? What do you mean in, in Wonka? Yeah, what is what is Wonka? What, <laughs> what is do that? you what mean? They make it chocolate for? <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck Goku keep fighting? <laughs> what are you talking? Like it's like the whole fucking thing. Why do they get? Why, why can't they delve into something else? Like goddamn, it is. Know, it is weird that. Yeah. yeah, it is weird. It is weird to me that Wonk. There's never been a Wonka movie that talks about how he made nerds. I mean, real you know, shit. Because, <laughs> because real nerds shit. are a Wonka product, or at least they were. I don't know if they are anymore. Because I think I think Wonka's gone actually, as as a company. Yeah, I think Wonka. But um, is a. Got caught on uh, Epstein Island or something, <laughs> something like that. I, I don't remember. Can't remember it. Polar, bro. How many That's fucking so chocolate factory things do we need though? Like actually, for real though, like uh, the there's that one where what, what's it? Um, what's his name again? Johnny Depp's like he's like yeah, dead so, or that's something. Uh, Charlie what, and the Chocolate Factory. Is he yeah. a corpse? Is he, he's like a corpse no, or he's just No, he's just, he's just Johnny Depp being an eccentric chocolatier. What, are you an yeah, asshole? Yeah, like, 
Is he not dead? I don't understand. Like, I'm looking at him. He looks like he's dead. (laughs) I've always understood him being, like, he reanimated or something. No, he's just a gray boy. He's just a little gray boy. Oh. So I didn't see it. I just assumed that he was, he was, like, literally You didn't see Charlie the Chocolate Factory? That's crazy. No. um, They're probably a little old, though. Yeah. Yeah, and also, I mean, Willy Wonka was fine in the Chocolate Factory. I was fine with that movie. I didn't, I saw no need for there to be any sort of remake for it or whatever. You didn't want to see the sequel or or continuation or anything. I saw Blazing Saddles before that movie, right? So, (laughs) for some reason, in the background, I heard the N-word a lot during that movie, even though it didn't happen. It wasn't happening. (laughs) It did happen. It did. It did. It wasn't happening, but I was just hearing the N-word a lot. It happens in the scene where, it happens in the beginning, uh, in in, in Willy Wonka's first intro scene, where he's, like, walking slowly with the cane, and then he pretends to fall. And he He just says it real quick. He says it it real real quick while he's rolling. And then everybody's like, did he? The idea of someone (laughs) He tells Charlie, you lose, Nick. And then Good saying day, N-word sir. is crazy. Because that, that does sense. not correlate. You say, like, fuck, You've not, like, you, shit. You, you, you don't say that. N-word. I know Charlie, every time um, Charlie's um, uh, grandpa's <laughs> on the scene, he says the N-word. <laughs> and yeah, every time, every time every, no, 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 but he says set, you know when, you know when they're floating up towards it. the fan, they're about to be executed. He, he, like, he, he screams it at the Oompa Loompas every time he sees them. No, 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 we no, gotta no, stop this sa- fan. No, 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 he says it, <laughs> but he has no ill intent. That is just what they were called when he was growing up, and he's trying to do better. He calls them Negroids now, yeah. but he Negroids. just he. He is. He doesn't yeah, yeah. want to be like, rude. It's like a, it's it's like a seventy year old saying Oriental. It's like, <laughs> like he doesn't want to be rude. He's like, I get look, it, man. I get it. There's they were nothing. called that. I understand their people. I I've, I've marched with them. But... Charlie, what are all these polar goose doing here? <laughs> what are they doing Dude, with my chocolate? Slur, I couldn't believe that. Leave my chocolate alone, me, you man. Fucking devious, <laughs> you, you goddamn zipper heads. Anyway, let's let's get into Stop uh, that. Let's, Dude, let's hey, get into, let's get hey, into questions. Gran Torino was dope, man. You, no, it was, he was so racist the whole time. I was like, why? <laughs> but is then he sacrificed like himself, which that redeemed was, his dude, racism. Bro, that that movie, that uh, the way I feel about Gran Torino is the way that other people feel about Quentin Tarantino movies. Where I'm like, <laughs> how necessary was this really? <laughs> He's so racist in that movie the whole time. I'm like Jesus Christ. That's dude. that's why it's that's why it's hard for me to take the the, the Tarantino stuff seriously. It's like, dude, I don't know, man. Well, the, the first time I watched, the first time I, I'll never forget watching Pulp Fiction the first time. I was <laughs> yeah. like, this dead inward storage thing. Was this really necessary? Like, it didn't yeah. do anything. It didn't help that scene in any way possible. It was just racist. <laughs> like, that's, that's, what, that's what makes that scene, like, that scene in particular, that is the one that where I'm like, there was no need for that. And the other, I don't movie, know about that. The other I think movies, it's fucking hilarious. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny that it's there. It's, it's funny that it's in the middle of this movie. It would be like in the middle of, like, uh, Christopher Robin. <laughs> <laughs> like in the, if in the middle of Christopher Robin, you find out that that Tigger is circumcised, <laughs> you know, it'd be like, what the yeah. fuck like, are you oh, on right now? Okay, <laughs> good to know. Yeah, it's like okay, this is I guess worse that's than in Tigger's this. circumcision. And he's like, <laughs> and everyone's like, what? Hey, everyone, I'm a Jew. <laughs> and then he fucking and he just, jumps like, really bounces high. on his dick. Or something. He jumps really high. And he lands on like one of the does, fucking yeah, he, the Yom Kippur because he bounces because he bounces on his tail in the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the, in the, in the, <laughs> you find out that's his fucking dick the whole yeah, time. It's, been a it's so se- it's so sensitive, and he, he's like bou- he's he's like he's cr- he's like wincing every time he every time he bounces. <laughs> That is so fucking stupid. I love the idea of Tigger bouncing on his dick. That is so fucking stupid. That made me really upset. I love Tigger. That made me really mad. <laughs> they call me Tigger because my dick is bigger. And then he just bounces away. They call me dick. Tigger because this dick is bigger than any. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, all right, let's, let's, let's that move on. Is- that is I, I, fire. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that coming from ev- from Every, fucking miles away. I saw that coming from orbit, dude. But you can't Every tell time, me that's great. Every time Tigger is mentioned, I'm just like, who's gonna say it? Who's gonna say it? Like, every Tigger, time, I just it's too close to it. Than any, than any other nit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I've, like been watching, I've been watching. I've been watching. I've been watching. 
because it's on HBO Max, I've been watching The Nanny. It's a show I used to watch when I was a kid, and I was like, oh, yeah, I remember this. This, And I've seen Seinfeld like two million times. So I'm like, oh, yeah, let me rewatch this show I haven't seen since I was a kid. That Interesting. The Nanny is one of the horniest shows I've ever fucking seen in my life. Oh, it's bad. I can't, it's bad. I can't, I can't believe that I, I would sit there and watch that show with my family. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's honestly fucking insane. You know what show I thought about doing? I thought, I thought about doing. A, I thought about doing a video of, of like, "Hey guys, this is me. I'm gonna be watching the nanny until I come," and then it just cuts. <laughs> it, just, it just cuts like really, really quick. You know, you know what show is really funny? Um, I'm married with children. That show is like just a husband spirited. Eventually, getting to the point where he wants to hit his wife. That, that is just, all that show is. Like him that shows my like, spirit animal, man. It's like like every, oh man, I'm gonna hit this bitch. It's it was. Uh, making fun of fat chicks, um, calling um, uh, Marcy a lesbian. Uh, so good. <laughs> the fucking, the, bro. They have that no ma'am club, which was yeah, yeah, so yeah. fucking stupid. Dude, fucking, <laughs> fucking families would gather around and watch that show. And watch like wholesome entertainment. Married with children. That is Fuck crazy. You, you, I fucking hate you, Peg. I'm going to slit your throat. And this motherfucker can like afford an entire house by selling shoes and shit. Like that's the that's this motherfucker the, that's sells the shit, shoes. Dude. He has a house and his bitch wife. I'm gonna fucking uh, I'm gonna fucking stomp your clit until it's flat, Peg. <laughs> Get the fuck Peg, away from one, me, Peg. One day I'm gonna kill the kids and I'm gonna blame it on you and they're gonna believe it because I'm never here. I'm working all the time, but I'm gonna kill him. Uh, Our son's my... a fucking jackass, <laughs> Peg. Look at him. Uh, here comes my. I'm gonna enroll daughter. you in archery so I have an excuse to cut your tits off, bitch. <laughs> That is outrageous. <laughs> I believe. Wait, archers can't have big tits? Kelly, you absolute slut. Come here. Come here. Yo, you, I, uh, caught, I caught myself off guard with that you one. Have any, uh, you have any... Holy shit. You got any friends, Kelly? You gonna bring, you gonna bring <laughs> some of your slut-ass friends over, Kelly? Well, and, and I'll fuck him in front of Bud. Show him how to be you a real man. You think I want to eat you out with your fucking bacterial vaginosis, Peg? You bacterial bad <laughs> You're a n- owl. Al, you're a you're a fucking you're a fucking owl. I can smell my dick underwater after I fuck you, Peg. Christ. Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> That's fucking me now. Why would you say that? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to be honest. Paying honesty is the cornerstone of a relationship. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. Let's get on to questions. Oh, oh man. Oh, God. Oh. I don't feel so good. That, that's... I love that. That's like, that's the leveled up version of Al Bundy. That's wh- that's where this show would have went if he was on HBO. Like if he, if if Married with Children, they should bring back Married with Children. Bro, put the it on spirit, HBO. The sp- they're like still alive. By something. Everybody's still alive. Uh, Katie Sagal yeah, all looked good in um in uh that motorcycle show, uh, Sons of Anarchy. Oh she yeah, looked, she looked pretty good. Uh, David Faustino. She was the mom. I- yeah, she was the yeah. she was married to um Clay the I know she yeah, is, yeah Leela yeah Leela, Leela. yeah she was married yeah Clay was married to Leela uh, no, Hellboy was married to Leela which is that's funny I like that I like that that actually let's do Sons of Anarchy but then they use their other shit like they'll use uh <laughs> can somebody I want AI you know what I'm gonna try to see if AI can do a scene of Sons of Anarchy where it's Hellboy um. What's the Charlie Hannon? Hannon? Hannum? What the fuck's that guy's name? Who? I don't think that uh, plays um, what's his name? The guy that plays Jackson? Jackson. What up the hell else did he do? Specific Rim and that's it? I think he didn't do anything else, did he? Jackson's the main character, <laughs> right? Yeah. What the fuck happened to that I, guy? I, I, I he made know. his money off of a really successful show. and He, he did, did nothing. What the hell else did oh, he man. do? He was, a, he was an Excalibur or something, or King Arthur or something like that. Oh, shit. Nobody saw that. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Nobody saw that. 
He's cool, so he did bro. like two movies and then he fucking died. I think he's dead. So he got all okay. that fucking money from that fucking. Sh- Sons I mean, that's was what I so do. popular, bro. Crazy. Was, I actually Sons is one of those shows that had a lot of seasons and I I liked every season. Like even because I think it, I don't know how many seasons seven eight seasons I have no idea. I, don't I like when they went to Ireland. I was stupid. That, that I mean I get why they went, but yeah, oh, it was sunny. Sun? The weakest part, yeah, when they, <laughs> yeah, when the, they had to go get Frank back. Hey, yeah, we gotta get. You Frank know what's back. crazy? I think they, they stole they, Frank. Every every uh, FX show eventually goes to Ireland. <laughs> Is there? There must be some pro Ireland shit that the 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 studio execs are. They're probably Irish supremacy or some shit. Anyway, oh, take him to Ireland. <laughs> All right, let's let's take a quick little break, huh, huh, uh, Chris? Yeah, let's yeah. Take, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Come on over to Burp and Busters to get cum in your beer. Drink your beer cum. Are you sick of having cum not in your beer? Get beer and get cum in your beer. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was our sponsor. Yeah, thank that was you our so sponsor. Much. Uh, Bourbon, bourbon buster. <laughs> They're <laughs> ten thousand a word. So yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you, bourbon busters. Come to bourbon, but we'll come in your beer. Fuck you. Can we just answer questions? Just talk about, all right, let's talk let's about say, coming beer. All right, all right. I love coming beer. Fucking Belch and Bus. You try our Belch and Bus combo. Yeah, Belch and Belch and Bus. You fucking mad genius. That, is that the competitor? Yeah, Belgian bus. <laughs> <laughs> There's multiple franchises. It's like it's like how Burger. It's like how um. It's like how uh. What is it? Burger King is Hungry Jack and. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like <laughs> Hardee's and fucking uh, <laughs> Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is oh, called? Is, it's called Hardee's somewhere. Yeah, it's Hardee's like on the East Coast. No, it's Hardee's in Canada. I think. It's it's in the East Coast. I, I've, I've been to Hardee's a few times. Really? Yeah. There's, there's oh, yeah, Hardys you might be place. right. I don't know. I, I never I never went to a, any like Pretty much Hardys once you pass Texas, it's Hardee's. I've never been to Hardee's yeah, before. Yeah. I don't even know what that Did shit you know is. Jack in the Box? Did you know Jack in the Box is in New York? And it's just called Jack's, right? No, it's it's called... Um, I think it's called Domino's Pizza. <laughs> Let's move on. All right. First fucking question. First question. Smitchy the Kid wrote in. He says, hello, gamers. Do you think that early 2000s punk rock will be put into the classic rock bubble? If so, when or has it happened already? Honestly, personally, um, I feel like this has happened already. Yeah. Uh, in the I, classic I, rock? I, yeah, I feel classic like, rock I feel like, especially there are certain songs. I, like, dude, wet, Wake Me Up When September Ends is, is, a, is classic rock. Like, just straight up. Like, it's a it's straight just, up it's, classic it's, rock ballad for sure. Yeah, but that's yeah. Not a and punk then, song, so, though, right? N- well, I mean, th- it's made by a no. punk band. You know what the problem it's a song is? Song by a punk. Ba- what the problem is? Even though the classification is correct, people don't usually classify music in that way. I had this yeah. problem with the, uh, and people in general had this problem with uh, this kid, this Zoomer. He called um, um, Nirvana oldies, but like to him, that that shit's thirty years old. And so it's it's old yeah. ass music to him, but I'm like, no, any, we don't classify when you say oldies, you think about specific artists. And same thing right, with, yeah. with classic rock, like oh, the first thing that pops in your head is like Led Zeppelin, ACD. You start thinking of that genre, you think of a new band, Greta Van Fleet, but people want to say that's like classic rock because of the style that they play. Well, that's the thing. Even though so it is though, kind of it is. Though. That's it what, totally so, that's, is. So so I, I think the distinction here is that classic, as far as like. As far as a genre goes, isn't really married to an era. It, it, no, it it is. Not it entirely. has nothing to do with the. It has nothing to do with the actual passage of time. Really. Yeah, that's kind like, of like, mostly like, like in the same way that oldies like like uh, oldies is like what would you could like Louis Armstrong? I assume. Yeah, like or, when you play like, like a radio station, there's like. A certain type of oldies is, um, is oldies Motown. is 70s prior. 70s yeah. prior is oldies. There's like a there's like a feel there's like a Chicago's Motown vibe that a lot of old, oldies live in. What's like a what would what's like Sinatra? Oldies. Well, like technically, relics. it's it's swing. I know it's and swing. lounge, but like, I just feel like some people would probably classify it as oldies, but 
there's like a soulfulness to the word oldies. Like, and what I get, why I gather that there's radio stations like an LA radio station called K Earth One Hundred One that would be right. dedicated to oldies, and it would be just a bunch of black ass niggas fucking singing their asses off. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. Like as a, even though it, even though the, the term oldies really does transcend the vibe, it's supposed to. Yeah, that makes sense. Like classic rock, there there is multiple genres of rock and roll that existed in the '60s and '70s, and it's just enough time past it called classic. I but think it's. I, I, God, yeah, I, you know what? You know what it is. How we're we're we're, d- we're, we're, back then? we're we're confli- Oh, what do you mean? Like rockabilly? And- rockabilly is old as shit, but they don't consider it classic rock. There was hair metal. Like, there was like, um, you know, hair metal. I don't know, 80s, it depends though, on what. Not... And then there was there was and then there was active. There was I don't know what you would call it, but like, like a, a, a Creedence Clearwater, um, that had like I a, would say that's like, definitely classic rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it was very so, similar to like Led Zeppelin in some ways. Yeah, but uh, oh, I, I I think the distinction is the only thing that really moves with us. Isn't like genre terms. It's it's just terminology. Like so, retro. For example, like there is a point where something will become retro, but there will never 100%. be a point where there might not be a point where like I don't know, fucking disturbed becomes classic rock. You know, because <laughs> yeah. you imagine. Yeah, it's, oh, this it's is not, a classic be... disturbed. Yeah, like it is. It's is... the funny thing. You know, it, I was it, actually it does... thinking about making. <laughs> Go ahead. It, it dude. It it does make me laugh thinking about. How like there will be a point where we will be really old, and like kids will like kids will be like, "What did you listen to?" And then we'll be sitting there feeble, and like turning over to like a fucking radio and being like, "This is what we used to listen to back in I my used to listen day." To people and it's just the streets blaring. <laughs> it's blaring in a way that like that's so like old people listening to music that sounds like it was recorded on fucking banana peels and tripwire sa- yeah. is the only thing that i can conceptualize so when i think about like our generation being old and being like we used to listen this is what i used to listen to when i was young and it's like wet ass pussy you know like that's, that's crazy such a to fucking think, dude. that is such a weird ass mp3 files too they're like ugh. <laughs> yeah yeah they're like ew this doesn't even i can't even taste the fucking chords it's so <laughs> yeah, archaic yeah. but that's like so crazy like, that that's a real thing that's gonna be a time people are gonna be like oh we what what, what, what songs do you remember as a kid oh, and it's gonna be crazy. like fucking like just songs it's gonna be that old you can't people believe. it's it's gonna be old people fucking it literally old people by the millions blaring blink 182 in in fucking retirement homes <laughs> like actually for real this brings me back oh this takes just... me back where are you that's insane to imagine <laughs> <laughs> again! <laughs> i did it again you did it again i did it again. when i looked away no <laughs> i did it again <laughs> oh fuck i love it God allergies, damn. man. Oh my allergies. God. They fucking, they the fucking get me. Did it again. I keep missing it. I've been there. I've audio been there. listeners. I, 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 audio <laughs> listeners. This is the second time I've snot rocketed. Because uh, <laughs> it's got allergies, man. <laughs> got to keep tissues yeah. by me. <laughs> yeah, you got it, man. That's awesome. But uh, all right. Uh, what were we? Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't think. I don't think. I, th- I think before this episode, I thought that maybe, yeah, you could argue that like maybe like Green Day is classic rock, but. Now that I think about it, like, mm, I, I don't think, I think it's too genre specific. It, it would be like trying to say, like, um, it's it's almost like saying, like, oh, Portal is a first person shooter, which is like, I guess. But like, it's something. that's not, mm, it's not how you would. It's first person, all right. It's, <laughs> but... it's first person and you shoot things, but it's not, I, I, that would be like the worst way to describe Portal. Yeah, you wouldn't give it to somebody that like, want, you know, oh, I want to play something like Call of Duty. You wouldn't give them Portal. You'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I would you, say. What are you doing? Yeah, I would say it's it's classic rock with no capital letters, like yeah. non proper noun classic yeah. rock. I think it'll just forever be <laughs> classified as like there is there is a pop certain punk, style. Yeah. It'll be pop punk. It'll always be classified as that. It'll never. I I don't even think um, rock. There's rock and roll bands that show up today. Like technically, Kings of Leon is like alternative rock or something. But like yeah. they'll just be like rock. It, like it'll just be people will just kind of try to shuffle them into things. But it, when they get older, you're not gonna call them classic. It's just classic is just that 
that sound. People are looking for... If you say, hey, do you want to go to a classic rock concert? People know exactly what you mean. Like, oh, I'm expecting... Yeah, gonna... <laughs> I'm expecting... <laughs> she wants a fast machine to keep her motor clean. She's the best fine woman that I've ever seen. <laughs> That's so I hated... Gross. She I hated how kind of perfect that was. Long. That's that's a that's a very yeah, good. It's very good. You did a very good job with that. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I the first time I heard that guy, who I was like, what? What am I? Is it? Is this a joke? <laughs> I was like, is this? It's a, he sounds like what? if if a pug that learned how that? to speak overnight. <laughs> sounds like what? Like if a pug learned to speak overnight, like that's how I imagine a p- <laughs> oh. like it would sound. <laughs> Pugs. Hey. If a pug, if you were like, hey, hey puggy. master. Yeah, it's it's. I it's gotta a- pee. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> this thing needs to be shot and. It reminds me of a clown from Metalocalypse. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Cow cat. All right. <laughs> let's <laughs> cow cat. All right, let's move on. Uh, Scream team wrote in. I scream team wrote and he says, Hello, you three gutless bottoms. I was nice. wondering if there are any songs, movies, TV shows, etc. that are made by or star people you can't stand but also you thoroughly enjoy. I hate Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome sucks. beginning. It's a beginning to say, that's it, awesome. I hate Mark Ruffalo. He has a face that imbues my soul with rage, but love the Avenger movies. Well, Mark I Ruffalo mean, sucks my penis. Jeez. <laughs> I don't, I don't like him either. For what? So let me, there's two reasons. There's two reasons. One of them doesn't have to do with him. Actually, both reasons don't have to do with him, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so one of them, he, uh, he, Edward Norton was fucking awesome. No, he was not. Uh, oh. The Incredible Hulk was fucking great. Ed Norton was dick. the worst part of that movie. What no, do you he mean? Wasn't. He was fine. He, he was totally I fine. like, look, look, I like Edward that Norton's movie. a fucking fantastic actor. Shut the fuck up. He, he is a good actor, yes. He didn't but do he anything bad in that, in that movie. movie. What are you talking about? Who do you think was better? It was better. I I don't know. The fucking, the guy that did the first one. (laughs) No. Oh, you mean, uh, uh, Lou Ferrigno? Lou Ferrigno? No, not Lou Ferrigno. The guy that did the first Incredible Hulk movie. Are you talking um, about? The Sony one. Not the Sony one. Are you talking about Hulk? Are you talking about about Ang Lee? Ang Lee's Hulk? Yeah, I love that movie. Uh, What's his name? Eric Banner? Eric Banner? Fuck that guy. You're out of your mind. That movie sucks. Betty? Hey, hey, Betty. Uh, I was like, "What's happening?" I was like, "Is he retarded?" I, like how, he made I didn't know Hulk was supposed to be retarded. <laughs> and that I really, movie made I really me cry. Like Norton, the, the, the didn't he fight like Hulk. giant poodles or some shit yeah, in that did. movie? He did. He fought giant he poodles, and, and uh, he had like sex. With and they were all like, they were all like, Hulk! and he jumped. Help! <laughs> <laughs> Stop hitting against the deck, Hulk! <laughs> Stop hitting us so hard, Hulk! Stop hitting us so hard! I'm dying. They really, they really, Hulk, they really wrote that. What? <laughs> <laughs> they really wrote that into a fucking script that the Hulk beats up three giant m- mutant poodles. What the that, fuck? That, that movie was so. F- that movie was just as bad as Superman Returns, where they just didn't give. They didn't have a clear, concise villain for this powerful person to thwart. So oh, yeah, they just threw shit at him, and I'm like, what is this movie? A, <laughs> the Hulk is a about- bunch of shit. And and the Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton. Still to this day, I fucking love that when he fights Abomination. I think people need to just pay attention to the tension right before they clash, and Abomination fucks him up at first. Oh, yeah, and they're running like at each other, and he's like taking off part his shirt right before when he rips the fucking shirt off, and he does this little shoulder. Sh- oh, damn, dropped my phone. I got too excited. But like he like rips his shirt off and does this little shoulder shrug. It's the coolest fucking thing, and the fibers and the the muscles, and and then of course when Abomination just fucks him up in the running because you wouldn't expect yeah. that. That and then is he, such he gets, a good he gets punched fucking... once, he gets punched once in the stomach, and then he comes and he goes, oh, and then the, the movie ends, right? That's I, I never, I yeah, never he saw get, he the incredible. Punched... <laughs> he gets, uh, he gets I like once. He's like, oh, Bobby, and he falls down. And they randomly oh. got in. They randomly got in. Um, one of the famous Gracies that got in Hicks and Gracie, because because uh, uh, he's living in um, Bruce Banner's living in uh, the the favelas of um, of Brazil. 
he's hiding out there, and he needs to learn how to control his anger. And uh, the the Gracies, especially Hickson, has um, um a, a breathing technique that he really emphasizes on, like this meditation type of thing. So they just randomly bring in this guy, me as a martial mixed martial arts freak. I'm like, ah, like just randomly, like why would this is so cool that they randomly would just put this in here? Completely means nothing to anybody else. Uh, no. So I think there was a lot of love in that movie. My whole point is, sorry, getting completely off track. So I was already disappointed that Mark Ruffalo uh, was replacing him. And then the way that the Hulk was written in, um, in that movie, how he was portrayed, how Bruce was portrayed, uh, I hated all of it. And especially towards the end where he just was completely useless. I was like, oh, they took probably my fourth favorite superhero character in Marvel and just made him passive. And I'm like, that... Has anybody watched Planet Hulk? Probably one of the favorite, or just, like, anything surrounding that shit? Like, you, people love Hulk, right? Look, look, people what like Hulk. What the fuck Hulk, was that pe- shit? People what like was Hulk, that? right? But Hulk is stupid. Hulk is a stupid character. But he's, he's not, dumb. though. He's dumb. He's, he's he's a character about trauma. He's not even stupid. Like, so like watch, like I said, like, uh, they tried to do a little bit of Planet Hulk in, um, in, in Ragnarok. Yeah, they did some of it. And that was fun. That was the funnest part of Hulk's arc, and then once that was over, I was like, Hulk's gay again. And that's it. Hulk's I gay mean, again. Did you see? Did you guys ever? Did you, did you guys ever get into Hulk fights with Hulk, Hulk hands? An adversary more. Say it. Oh, the Hulk hands. Did you, ever, did you guys get ever get into fights those. with Hulk hands? Of course. No, I want. I always want. I actually want. I'm gonna order Dude, some there, Hulk hands. There, if they can do that right now. There used to be. They had to. I don't remember if they recalled them or not, or if there was like a. There, there was something going <laughs> was on with lead? the Hulk hands. No, no, no. <laughs> It wasn't lead. It was that people would wear the Hulk hands, and they would f- fucking punch each other really hard <laughs> because they because when you're wearing Hulk hands, the only thing you're going to do with Hulk hands is hit things. He, that's what he does. He hits things. Yeah. And so no people recoil. in like college, people in college would get him and they would organize <laughs> Hulk hand fight clubs and stuff, and they would deck each other in the face with fucking Hulk hands. Twenty two bucks, these, baby. Twenty two dollars. Get some Hulk hands. Saying. That was a <laughs> crazy popular toy. That was a wildly that, popular toy. Oh my you know, god! They have one where you boppers? can. Oh sock my and boppers god, were bro. pretty dope. More I saw people fun get knocked then. on condo oh. sock and boppers. Those people get knocked to sleep, bro. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I remember. I remember being at the <laughs> playground once. I remember being playing at the playground once. We were playing Spider Man, and I had the web shooter or whatever. The, the the web shooter with the silly string. By the way, top fucking tier toy for that time. Mm. But uh. But and it was like, he was I can't remember this friend that I was playing with was, was playing the Green Goblin. He was like he was like screaming at me or something. That I webbed that it wetted his throat. That he gargled a little bit. And he was like ah, ah, and he it was the sat. It was like actually scary. I thought I killed him. <laughs> I just I just remembered that thinking about the Hulk hands. You ever see oh, this is kind of a, when you when you're making like that choking noise. Did you ever see that video of these people at a Halloween store? And, and he put the finger uh, in his mouth. He puts the like the entire thing. It's a long finger. Like one <laughs> guy's wearing like a weird mask, and the guy puts like a, a fake finger in his mouth. But he puts like a seven inch finger like, all the way the in a whole... guy's throat. <laughs> he did so funny. <laughs> you ever see that, Chris? No, I haven't seen. That. Oh my god, look at that. It's so it's funny. It's extremely invasive. It's extremely <laughs> Like, he does yeah. it all fast to the whole thing. <laughs> um. <laughs> if you can find it, send it to me. But, uh, I think I, I have that yeah, in a lot I, of my likes. If, if you can find it, if you can find it, send it to me. No, I, I don't tell um, I just only yeah, I, I, I 9.3 million views. <laughs> I don't know if I have any, any <laughs> actors. <laughs> oh, let me send it to you. I don't know if I have any. Put it in the, 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 this chat or whatever. Yeah, I'll put it right now. I, I, I don't know if I have any movies or things that, like, movies that I like despite them starring an actor that I hate. Like, it, it, mm. chances are, if, if I've ever said that, like, oh, I can't stand this actor in the past, I'm usually playing up some kind of joke. I, I don't really care mm. that much. Um, okay, like, okay, what is, what is this video? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I have seen that video. Okay, I'm stupid. <laughs> That's it's such a, a long, long finger. finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's invasive, bro. Like that shit scratched his uvula, like for sure. <laughs> like it just fucking tore it off. <laughs> I wish, I wish he threw up. Uh, would yeah, so right? fucking hysteric. <laughs> you know what would be funny if he did it? If nothing happened, he just went all the way down and nothing happened. And, and just, then yeah, he up. just fucking 
<laughs> just takes it. It went like, all the way down. Got? That's all you got? Went all the way, went all the way down and came out the, <laughs> the, the urethra. He got invaded, bro. He got pulled, yeah, I don't know. bro. I, I, I don't know. Do you have any? Do you guys have any? Um, I don't know if I have anything. Not I mean, I was thinking of... <laughs> so, okay, guys. Oh, officially. Officially, I have finished The Walking Dead, all 11 seasons. It was torture, got through it, and goddamn, there were definitely some characters that were in there... Like, Curl was pretty fucking annoying. I wanted to kill him. But then there was... They upgraded Curl. Carl. Uh, with this kid named Henry. And Henry was the biggest bitch in the universe. And I hated him. And the spoilers... I don't... Nobody's gonna watch this shit. So, uh, like, they're not gonna watch The Walking Dead at this point if you haven't watched it. I, I just tortured yeah, yeah. myself. This fucking kid's arc was so funny because he got... A bu- it, more than 10 people executed for pussy. <laughs> this guy... So, long story short, there's the arc Man, called The Whisperers. There's the arc called The Whisperers, where them. the motherfuckers are wearing the skin mask and, they're, and they herd zombies. They walk around with them and herd them. So, they, they run into them, blah, blah, blah. They capture one of these girls who happens to be the daughter of the alpha of the pack. Then, they capture some of the town people, and they're like, hey, exchange exchange right that henry guy got close to that bitch so then once they swap people he breaks back into their camp and steals her away because she's like you don't need to be with these evil people so then those people capture people from all the towns and then executes all of them and puts their head on spikes including him literally got doctors and a bunch of people executed just for stealing pussy and he didn't even get said pussy he died and that's the i was like so yeah, like he tried to get pussy. He got a that's, kiss. That's, that's the not problem. Pussy. That's the problem. <laughs> so let me. Let me and so I that's, tell you. that's 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 the morally objectionable thing to me is that he failed. <laughs> so like so, I hated that guy, and I'm so, so his, glad his, that he his, died. Jesus' his death, Jesus' death, stupidest death in the series. Doing? Still, coolest character, literally like a one man army. Oh. Yeah, he double, well, I understand how he got cut off guard because he, he didn't know guard, that there the was a whisper. Time, at, but at the same time, bro, we've seen him dismantle people. Like, he was like what they, I think they wanted Daryl to be in the beginning of, like, the cool, like, one-man army. And then they was like, let's just make Jesus him, but better. <laughs> and they did. Look, and he was just, like, whooping. Like, he was look, fucking up a bunch of I, Negan's guys, run off walls, <laughs> kicking zombies, necks, breaking look, it. He I was underst- a demon. <laughs> I understand it sucked how he died, but imagine if you were just about to bash in someone's scarecrow, and then it dodges, and then just shanks you. Because that's essentially what happened. <laughs> I would be so upset. Like, what the fuck? Because you're not it's expecting this thing to make a move. <laughs> Ooh, oh. just, that zombie makes a move and then stabs you. Like, you weren't expecting the thing to fucking maneuver. Bro, yeah. oh my god. He had a okay, imagine you walk up to, um, uh, imagine you walk up to a mannequin. Imagine you walk up to a mannequin, like a mannequin, and you slap it in the face, and then it turns around and rapes you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, it's that's so pretty strong, fucking... too. It's so <laughs> strong. No, 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 no. It's just stronger than you. So it makes it worse. You can feel yourself pushing back, but you're not doing enough. And you're like, oh, my God, no. <laughs> like an arm wrestling where you slowly start to make ground. You're like, <laughs> you're just like... no, no. <laughs> He's stronger than me. <laughs> like, but no breathing, no. It's just doing it though. So you're like, you know that you're gonna, you're getting tired, it's just, it's just and it's still it. going at the same pace. And it's not even doing anything. It's, the, it's you know literally. It's not you even. Gotta give feral it's not and even. You know, I gotta do something crazy right now, or else I'm gonna get yeah, yeah, fucked. Yeah. You know, you're like, you gotta go for the throat. Yeah. Just gonna bite well, the throat. Well, it's not even. Well, the thing is. <laughs> well, the thing about it is too. It's like it's not even. It's a mannequin, so it's it, it doesn't have the parts to do anything to you. So what it really is doing is it's just it's it's just dominating you and overpowering you and keeping you down for a really long time yeah. just to show you that you have no autonomy and then it stands up and goes back and it just freezes yeah again. it starts getting his fingers ready it starts licking his fingers to start fucking figuring you're like no no there's I no fi- there's no happen. there's no it it, it pretends because there's no tongue it's just yeah, yeah doing it's, nothing. it's, just... <laughs> it's just doing nothing <laughs> <laughs> wiping <laughs> and then, oh, and then the let's manager move on. Let's, get, let's get another the manager question. opens up the store and then it goes back to normal. Let's get another guy. And like, what did you do? It's like, did you not just? You're crying. You're bawling, <laughs> sniveling, throwing up. 
It was, it was going. Why are you in here, sir? It was going. To, that was. <laughs> you're, you're under arrest. <laughs> you're under arrest for assaulting my mannequin. All right, good. Dude, go. I would oh, be man. so upset. I would, I would destroy her mannequin. I see. I would destroy her mannequin. I see. <laughs> What's the next question? Fuck, we gotta go. I would faint. Like you, like you know how like you know since they're alive, they're gonna do something. So I'd throw a punch and a gun in the gut. All of them. <laughs> You dead, Chris? Mm. No, no, I'm, I'm just re- okay. Cerebral. This is the last one. Man, we did not get a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll fucking do a, an all question next show week, or something. Next huh? week we'll just do the entire, and we will actually do it. We'll do. We'll just start I with like questions, it. and we'll and we'll let it go, and uh, we'll we'll gather as much as possible. Cere- <laughs> cerebral. <laughs> it rapes you. <laughs> cerebral Halsey wrote wrote in. And it says hello, Gosh, human, Halsey. human Ursarang Golem. And Mewtwo minus the intelligence. I really have no idea what any of that. Who's means, who? But thank you. I I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who Mewtwo is. I don't know. Like Mew, I fucking don't look. Whatever. You know what Mewtwo My is. My question on, is. Stop. I know what Mewtwo is. Okay. Who's Mewtwo in in, in this I scenario? Guess Derek, because it dies. What is it? Is that it? Yeah. I guess. And then he's also saying I I'm g- not intelligent. I made sure, but and you're who's Ursaring? Ursaring, and then who's go. And Gollum? I guess I'm Gollum. So like, you're Ursa I guess you're Gollum. I would have to be. Go- I can't I thought imagine. He, I thought, is he going all Pokemon or is he like Gollum from whatever, dude? Yeah, fuck this nigga. Go ahead. What's yeah, yeah, question? yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not even gonna read your fucking question, Cerebral. <laughs> no, Good my night. question was. <laughs> my question is: Was there ever a relationship where the girl's family ultimately led to the end of it? Uh, whether it be because they didn't like you or you didn't like her family. Ooh, I got no. both. This, yeah, this has th- this has never this has never been a factor for me, mm. or at least not a deciding factor. It's never been a concern where I'm like, I don't think your mom, I think your mom has a problem with my race, but uh, mm. but uh, <laughs> I don't th- I don't think so I don't think that was that. Isn't that crazy? I yeah, briefly yeah. dated a uh, chick from my uh, we we uh, she came in, no she. she she was just late, but she was in... Well, we went to high school together. I was going to say she came in later, but no, I remember seeing her in freshman year. Um, but yeah, after outside of high school, we uh, had like a summer fling type thing that, who knows, maybe could have been more. I don't fucking know. But I actually uh, I hung out at her house a couple of times. <laughs> fucking dead. <laughs> it's just some fucking... Like, the most stereotypical, like, racist truck guy. Tr- you know, like, you just... Oh, he'd, be, he'd be one of the people uh, shooting his Bud Light cans, essentially. And, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But he said, I he hate was... this woke trans beer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He drinks it anyway. He, he's probably doing it right now, literally. And But yeah. he didn't say anything uh, fucked up to me, but he once, and maybe I, I might have said this on the podcast before, that he just said something, I'm paraphrasing, but on the lines is like, I'm one of the good ones kind of a thing. And I was oh, like, get the yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. out of here, bro. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Like, it was just, it really just, Turn me off, even though she wasn't like that at all. But I'm just like, ugh. Just yeah, because like... then you have to think. What you? Because you, you have to think like, man, what is this going to look like? Like, because what if we have look, kids? Man, I, I, look, men men get a lot of shit for like just being focused on the, like the you know the just the the sex shit, right? But like, no. I think even even in your first like the. the I'm always thinking about like, man, what does this mean? Like, what does this aspect mean? Like, if I did marry this person hypothetically, I gotta have to deal with this every fucking Thanksgiving, right? Oh and man, I'm, imagine our our families coming together because I have some family that they would clash heads for sure, you know, yeah. because they don't put up with that shit at all. <laughs> uh, that was that was awkward. I was just like, I fuck all that noise. And there was one in particular that was on the, uh, it was, I dated this chick that was Nigerian and Indian, and her parents sucked the the biggest dick. I was basically the white guy. Well, they would have probably preferred me be a white guy. Of course they would. They were were immediately. They're African and Indian. They love white people. (laughs) They were immediately like, because they came to America and made it. Fucking mansion. They lived um, on the, this one isolated house on the hills. Uh, on Fullerton Road, like, you're in my city, like, there's just some house, there's this big-ass one that I always drive by, and she happened to live there. I was like, why are you fucking serious? Anyway, I went Thanksgiving (laughs) dinner. 
They fucking grilled me like, so what do you uh what do you do for a living? I'm fucking eighteen years old. I'm like, well, I just graduated high school, so I'm gonna take a break and then I'm gonna figure out they were like, uh, so you're you haven't already been accepted to a call they were fucking like basically grilling me while I'm trying to eat their fancy fucking That was an dinner. that was a fucking dude. that was an interview, dude. It was an interview and it was so fucking awkward that they, they basically did not like me, they did not approve of me. Like uh, the African dad was like, "Why are you not a millionaire? Why are you going to why Why are you going to abuse and rape my daughter? Because you are a gangster, you know." Like he's like the way that he be the way that basically Africans don't like Black Americans. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, unfortunately, and so he hated it's me. It's not their fault. It's, it's, it's not. I get. I it's get, America's fault, but it's like I it's, get it. It's just you know they don't like. But us. it's also still like, like, hey, guy. Get to know me before you judge me, please, Mr. African Man. Yeah, and then, okay, we had, me and this chick, we had a, a slight argument, and this was the end of our relationship. Her mom was in the background. I was on my way to see my friend that had an appendectomy, and we, some, for some reason, were having an argument on the phone while I'm driving there, and her mom is in the background talking shit and calling me poor and stuff, and I was like, holy shit, I have never experienced this before in my entire life. I mean, I was only 18, but still. I've never in, in classism. I've never experienced it in, in like that before, and yeah. that obviously couldn't go anywhere because her parents were just the absolute fucking worst. Yeah, oh my god. There you go. Well, um, I, I so many times, God, man, I did it <laughs> so, like, so many times. I because I used to date white women before, and I was like, yeah. oh yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. it's just imagine. especially where we're from. It's just it's just under it's just under slightly under the surface. You'll see that shit like. They'll be cool with you, and then something will happen, and you'll notice, like, oh, this person's racist, but they don't even know they're racist. When we say when we say when we're where we're from, we're talking not about New York, but upstate ups, New York, like up, in the sticks, up, yeah, in the sticks. We're not even that up, but we're away from New York. We're up we're not even for, that up, dude. We we can take yeah. a train to the city. That's what's crazy. It gets even. What's crazy is that it gets even worse. <laughs> you know what's <laughs> like, crazy? But then it gets it turns into the ultra because Buffalo is the hood, 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 hood of New York. Like I would say, Buffalo is worse than New York City is now. Oh, easily, Buffalo is worse than Buffalo's New York City. horrible. Buffalo has the highest murder rate in New York State. That oh, is wow. insane. It's so you, fucking cold. You have niggas living in that cold, bro. They're insane. Yeah. They're insane. You know why? Because why? they kill they kill people and then they fucking throw them in a. F they don't even need. I'm they just furnace. bury them in the snow. <laughs> and no and one ever find finds them. Four them. months later, like, oh, that's four months where later, Deborah is. Oh, just damn. fucking piles on. They're gone. <laughs> but yeah, like, yeah. So like, no, one girl, there was one. There was there was one girl I liked. She was she was Asian and um, what you call? She was Asian and um, and Latina. Her dad was just didn't like because I was black, straight up. No, because I was black. When he found nice. that I was Hispanic, he was like, "Oh, you're cool." And I was like, "You didn't like me until you found I was Puerto Rican. Are you serious?" So that fucking fell apart. She was a really cool girl. Um, <laughs> so funny. Then there was a girl that was a juggalo. She was the fucking juggalo. So that's all I gotta say. Juggalette. Uh, That's crazy, man. There's that, um, Lily, we need a whole episode Lily, dedicated Lily's to that. Lily's parents are. I love. I love Lily's dad is like a father to me now. Like he's my swagger. I really appreciate him. But he was very. He's very serious compared to me. He's like very serious. What is insane is Lily's not very serious. So he was like very like grilly, but he wasn't. He didn't push me away or anything like that. I know. If I'm gonna be very honest, when he found when he saw my skin was black, he definitely. I could see. I could see it in his <gasps> eyes. Meal. He was, he was like, mm. he was like, oh, fuck. Because now I gotta Lily, deal with this. If you, if you know Lily and Lily never <laughs> had any hints to liking black men ever. She didn't discriminate against them, but she was like a Justin Bieber girl, like a fucking Troy from fucking High School Musical girl. Mm. And then she walks in with my fucking like six foot three gigantic black ass. And she's like, he's just like, <laughs> when did this happen? You know. Yeah. So like he he but they've always been respect. Her mom adores me. Her mom likes me more than he she likes her, which is hilarious. Like her nice. mom like can't stand Lily, but she adores me. She's like <laughs> I, I I go over and I talk to the mom, and she's like so happy for me being in the lick and she's like oh fuck this bitch is back. We'll see you know. Kingston. <laughs> but there's been like, there's been like so many like I don't know like parents, but usually the parents are not like I don't know. Moms usually always like me. Mothers always have a, a good time with me, because I'm very respectful to mothers. Just trying but to get piped, man. Dads always give this weird like energy because I, I think it's just because I'm a black man. They think that like I'm going to, I'm just there to fuck their daughter, and get You're them pregnant, beat and them and shit. All the stereotypes. Yeah, it's like I'm, it's like, dude, I'm so not like that. Like my family's probably richer than you, sir. 
Like my like my grandma makes more money than anyone in your family put together probably. Like I just it's I'm just I just think your yeah, daughter's yeah. pretty and I want her to touch my penis. No mom is way you black. I don't like it. <laughs> I, I don't like that you boiled it down to that, but that really is what it is. <laughs> I just it really is all, touch my penis. It really is it. all any of this any of this is. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> anyway. All right. This is it. All right. We're done now. Yeah. We're leaving. That's We're done. Right, gentlemen. All right. Wait, hold on. We got to we got to oh, do wait. the fucking yeah, yeah, you got the credits. Close it. Yeah, I'll... The closer. Let's, let's, Remember let's, that stupid the, show called The Closer with that blonde bitch? She was like, oh, I don't know what neck. the hell you're talking about. You're... you're the show called The Closer. Talking about. I just don't... I don't respect it enough to continue thinking about it, but I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> that's not... That's not real. That's not a real <laughs> thing. On. The Closer? Yeah, anyway, some redneck, like, like <laughs> detective. I have no I'm fucking... I'm closer. Idea. I'm a dumb Ask blonde me the closer. Bitch. Yeah, it looks like... Me, you my so fuck the kid rude. again. You guys what? are so fucking rude. That's a demographic of people that deserves respect, even though they're disgusting. I, I yeah, agree. yeah. I they, can, my, they want respect. <laughs> they can come to the fucking coast is, uh, and get it from me. Pry from my fucking cold dead hands. Come over, <laughs> come over to the fucking coast where civilization is. Right. Fucking flyover retards. <laughs> right. Amen. All right, let's move on. Uh, count me down. <clears throat> hey! Three. Two. <laughs> such a shithead. You one. suck. You fucking suck, dude. You suck. I got, Three, two, uh, one. I got... All right, I got... <clears throat> I got AIDS. <laughs> Hold on, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I go Three. by he, him, or Nick Carr. Smitchy the Kid. Not bad. Caucasian Container, the, uh, the Cracker Barrel for Gays. Miguel O'Hara shooting Uncle Ben. Uh, Tinfoil <laughs> Tyrant. 13,000 feet under the sea and you hear the opening notes of Under Pressure. Putting blackface on my light bulbs. Chris's singular sperm that gapes his urethra every time he comes. One time my cat got in the way of my twenty two caliber cum shot. The cat is no more. Rip mittens. Uh, they call me Robin Hood because I'd be robbing people in the hood. <laughs> Doc Jenkins and Jello the Tism Wayne? Schism. Yeah. <laughs> Doc Jenkins and the Tism Schism bend my dick, come in her snatch. Nice. Uh, she Pipkin on my Pippa. Possum, yes, that is my name. Yo soy Cristobal uh, Rayo Pistola. LS Tom Sweeney y LS Derek un hombre negro. <laughs> Bienvenidos <laughs> al Snark Tanky. Oh, I, nice. I don't think Tank is. I don't think that's. The, I don't think that's proper, but Snark Damo tango. Nation, average clit energy, AI Mr. Krabs cooking in the studio. He is, honestly. Oh, yeah, dude. Star Coffee, Epstein wasn't killed, he was raptured into heaven. Indiana Jones and the Medallion of Stolen IPs. Uh, the gay <laughs> parody of Colleen Ballinger's half-assed apology song. Jesus Christ, how would that work? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that's too much. You just got to be very gay. <laughs> Ten minutes. No, and thank toxic you. Toxic and gay. I don't. I, don't, I haven't even listened. Yeah. To my coxic. <laughs> my coxic. Coxic. S- there we go. Slop dick. Coxic. I don't know. Whatever. Now, what's the song called again? Uh, toxic. Toxic gossip, gossip train. Culture. Train. train. Now, what do I know? I don't want to say culture. Um, toxic, toxic penal pains. Constant yeah, penis pains. Yeah. Penis brain. I don't know. <laughs> constant <laughs> penis pain. I don't know. Constant penis Exposing brain. Exposing people constant. with lactose intolerance. Constant. The idea that it just doesn't fucking end. Exposing people <laughs> with a lactose intolerance to 90,000 rotagens of ionizing radiation. My sexual awakening oh, was damn. the quirky goth girl from NCIS, and now my taste in women is ruined. Yush Vin Pen. The angelic dungeon master who would like to congratulate you for saving the baby shoving, shoved uh, by shoving the horse off the bridge. Uh, God damn, I accidentally oh, paid nice. for another month of $25 tier rewards. Fuck you for not beating Elden Ring. Chris, I hate you. I'm sorry, man. There's just you too much going on. I, I mean, I got 100 hours into it, and then I kind of took a break, and then I went back to it, and I was like, I can't damn, continue you got 100 hours and didn't beat it? That's fucking wild. Wow. Yeah, I took a lot of time, because I took a lot of time just like, meandering and just mm-hmm. sort of like grinding and then Amazing, I got to and bro. I got to like the I got to the cold area with the ice dragon and then I was like mm, this is hard and then I put it down and then I played a bunch of other things and then I went back to it and by the time I got back to it my muscle memory had atrophied so hard and I was in such a hard part of the game that I was like I I don't even remember what my bill I don't remember what I was doing I don't remember what my <laughs> I bill was Souls games every yeah, time dude, I, I, 
like I, I sincerely, I and it's such a that. big game. When I play Souls games, I just beat them. I sit down and I'm like, I'm beating this game. I'm finishing yeah, yeah. this game. Final yeah, Fantasy right now. Is... That's the only game I'm playing right now. I'm playing Final Fantasy 16. I'm going to beat. Th- I just got to the point where I got all the cool upgrades, so I can actually do a lot of cool shit. And I'm like, yay! I'm finally really. You cool. might be further. You might be further than me. I haven't really had a chance, but I. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just I play too many things at once. I have I have to play new shit every week. True. <laughs> or at least I have something have to have something new to say about it. Like something every week, as far as video games. This game gay, and then that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm Elden playing this. Ring. It's, it's a little gay. Then get that's handed it. a sack of money for saying a game is gay. That's crazy. That's like <laughs> Craig the Canadian, uh, pay your Richard Fisting. It's your boy. It's your boy, Shawnee D. The studio that made Lord of the Rings Gollum got shut down. R.I.P. I got fired from my job, and I feel like shit sent support. Much love, oh, my guy. I'm uh, sorry, bud. Uh, unless you worked Dude, on if Gollum. You, if you can't give us to the podcast, please don't, man. I understand losing a job is hard. Yeah, we don't want people to feel fucking well. weirdly compelled to, like, in the middle of a fucking economic downturn to just, like, oh... Uh, I can't afford. I I I can either, <laughs> I can either afford an extra ammo, or dinner. Like, don't you know? <laughs> let's we get, appreciate let's be reasonable. it though. Everything you guys do for we us really it. helps us out for real. We appreciate but, like, it, and we will kill you if you don't do it. And like, we'll no, we'll, no, we'll, no, we we'll, won't. No, we won't. Don't we say will. No, he's crazy. We will keep a tally. We'll keep a tally of. Uh, believe me, we. I have a whole list of all of you who have, you know, dipped out and come back in. The disloyals, as I call them, and we will fucking get you. Like I'll. You're get a you fucking personally. maniac. No, we're not. We're not going to do anything to you. Thank Don't you for your help. Don't fucking speak for me. Don't fucking speak for me. We we appreciate your help. Uh, He's crazy. He's having a moment. <laughs> Matt Walsh is a hero of our time. Sweet baby gang for life. Uh, Indie butter knife on YouTube. Gay Weezer. Gay Weezer be like, what's with these homie? What's with these homos fucking my boy? Why do they got to suck? Hey Chris, fun fact: nice. the Bee Gees, Rick Springfield, and Gautier are Australian artists too. The Bee Gees are Australian. Yeah, they are. I know the Bee Gees are Australian. Um. Gautier, I, I can actually... believe, because he, Gautier looks Australian. <laughs> to me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You didn't have, you didn't have to cut me off. <laughs> off. <laughs> Make it like it never happened, and that way we're nothing. Ew. <laughs> that's disgusting. God damn, bro. That would be such a shitty... Thank God he doesn't sing in Australian. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hey, Chris, uh, yeah, 3XO and the uncanny accuracy of Chris's Vegeta impression. I don't remember what that was. The Vegeta impression. Oh, was oh, that when he was streaming? Switch? Vegeta was yeah. streaming. <laughs> <Vegeta was stream. laughs> that was so fucking funny, dude. That was a good moment. Thanks I can't do five. it again. I can't replicate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, thanks for the fu- I can't do it again. It's gone. It was in the moment. It was perfect. Slurping, stroking, smoking, joking, emoticons going like this. Morning, Owlet, Sheeny, Ty, I'm gay for you. You're gay. I'm gay for you. You're gay for me. Spider-Man, why are you gay for that guy? <laughs> Nancy, <laughs> Nancy Pelosi uh, killing a Palestinian with a massive tits. Obi-Wan should bro- uh, blow me. Kremlin to Gremlin guy. Avi, something funny and topical. Gay Shrek to be like, I need a homo. I'm holding out for a homo with a butt so tight. That is right. fucking amazing. All right. That's something. I need, That's I need something a there. homo. That works. Holding out like for that. a gay nigga for the <laughs> night. And he's got to be yeah. big and he's got to be black and he's got to have a dick the size of my thigh. I need Damn. a homo. <laughs> oh, man. Did we just find out what's There's something did there. We just, did we just That's a hard grandma? song to sing. What did you say? I said, did we, get, did we just find out extra ammo? Is that extra ammo? Oh, okay. I got it. That's Maybe. A, it's pretty easy. Yeah. We need a homo. Yeah, sing, fucking... sing that song horribly. It would be fun, too. <laughs> ah! I need it. Yeah! I'll are you singing like I'll Angus Young? I'll do the hook. Are you singing like, are you just singing, are you just singing like ACDC? Oh. <laughs> I need a hero! <laughs> I'm holding it for a hero! <laughs> Yo, you just got me an idea of taking that fucker's voice and putting him in every song, like uh, like Billie Jean and shit, like Mr. Krabs. Billie Jean is not my love! <laughs> I hate him. It just sounds like a microwaved fucking mogwai. It's so horrible. Mogwai? What is a mogwai? You know what a mogwai is? No. It's the gremlins. It's it's the little creature. Oh my that god, the that's what they're actually are. called. Yeah, okay, I remember now. Yeah. I am the one. The kid is not my son. Walk this way. Talk this way. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what it is? It's actually, uh, it is actually just straight up Marge Simpson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, it's honestly upsetting. Anyway, Wage Slave 583, I Feel Gay, Fuck You, The Papini Brothers, uh, Emporium of Submarines, made by Ed Ed and Eddie, that plays Sonic Drowning Music, nice. Spaceballs, The Patron, <laughs> William Harrington. Is it racist to autistically blurt? <laughs> what? You gotta, you gotta hear, you gotta hear it. Oh fuck! What is that? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna give this to you guys because I want you to say it. Uh oh. Okay, I have I an idea what's happening I, now. <laughs> I, I have an idea what's going on. I don't want to get it clipped. This is the guy's name. Dun, 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 dun. By the that? way, I would I I have no qualms about saying this. I just feel like you people watching are fucking weird. Mm. But <laughs> is it racist to blurt out guacamole nigga penis five times a day for no reason? This isn't a joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Uh, I mean, it's weird that it's happening for no reason. That's bizarre. It but, sounds uh, more like a tick <laughs> than autism. Sounds more like yeah, Tourette's than autism. Yeah, you've got problems, is what it seems like. You got no, you're neurological all fucked up, bro. You're not racist. Tell him Steve Dave. This is the most, the most, the most horrible listening experience. Tell him Steve Dave. Ah, a stu- I, I, I like the idea that they have to endure this to hear their name. A stupid lesbian. <laughs> uh, John Strickland. Uh, I remember you was conflicted, sucking on penises. Sometimes I did the same. Uh, Merck's 1889. That was a good album. That made me so sad. She king on my gizzard till I lizard wizard. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, first Church of Keith David featuring Solid Sween and his gay genocide. The first Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie came out a month before I was born. I'm 21 now. That's gross. Oh, wild. Uh, pre Roz. Pre-Raz, uh, Blake896, Vegeta getting stream-sniped in PUBG and calling a child the N-word. I respect every <laughs> single Spider-Man in anyway. <laughs> That would be so funny. <laughs> she, her, she, her pronouns, but like a boat. <laughs> That's so dumb. Right, Alaskan oil field trash. Shit. Texas tater salad, Sue Hulk, tickle my ass hairs, Nikki Ziggy. Hey, Dom, do you know that the fish are eating five guys? That's pretty fucked up, Marcus. Uh, lobotomized Jesus can't wait to lick on the. I don't know, I don't get it honestly. Um, Hulk Hogan, it's a, it's a joke, lobotomized Jesus. Yeah, I think so. Hey Dom, did you know that those <laughs> fish are eating five guys? That's pretty fucked up, Margaret. I don't know. You gotta it, redo that one. Do a new one. Yeah. Explain that. Lobotomized joke Jesus. Me understand, Ex- I, I, yeah, I didn't explain. I didn't explain her. I need a four-hour. My name is Bife video. Explain. Yeah, I need a video essay, means. please. Uh, lobotomized Jesus can't wait to lick on Hulk Hogan's. Sl- uh, Sloppy, wet, fat, fucking pussy like a dog in a water bowl. The sounds of mommy and daddy arguing downstairs, but it's drowned out by Sweeney and Sw- uh, Derek and Sweeney slang oh, argument. Shit. Every time I come, it sounds like Squidward walking. Jackson Dupont, Bradley Brave, Hugger Derek, Normal McPerson, your new roadmate, Aetherian, Progerian Hunter, Melfus One, heir to the throne of Haphazard, and as always, rounding out our list, King of Haphazard. Woo! Uh, bye. Woo! <laughs>